<coughs> Blessed is our God, always known unto the age of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, O Lord, glory be to thee. O treasure of every good and star of life, come and grow us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls to the Lord. Peaceful I hear this with all. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For come, let us worship and hold out the poor King God. For come, let us worship and hold out before Christ our King God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King, our God. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help from his sanctuary, and out of Sion let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine and thy whole burnt offering, let him fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord has saved his anointed one. He will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven, in mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the King, and hearken unto us the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the King shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart hast thou granted unto him, and hast not denied him the requests of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness, thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days unto ages of ages. Great is his glory in thy salvation, glory and majesty shall lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him in joy with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them sorely, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit will not destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee. They have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their backs among those that are thy remnant. Thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peaceful light, he despotog. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto our monarchs victory over adversaries. And by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Thou who was raised up on the cross of Thine own will, O Christ our God, do Thou bestow Thy compassions upon this Thy new commonwealth named after Thee. 
gladden with thy sovereign might our most orthodox monarchs and vouchsafe them victory over every adversary. And as thy help in war may they possess a weapon, a peace, a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O dread protection that cannot be put to shame, disdain not, O good one, our entreaties of all him Theotokos. Make steadfast the commonwealth of the Orthodox, protect those whom thou hast enjoined to rule over us, and grant them victory for one high, for thou hast given birth to God, O only blessed one. Lord, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee hearken in the mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our Father and our Church, Demetrius. Lord, have mercy. And the sin of the Lord, but according to Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For merciful the man befriending God, at down unto the Holy Son, the glory of the Father, and to the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial life, creating an indivisible trinity, always, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory in the name to God. of the Lord, Master Bless. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, dash up in my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, dash up in my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, Lord, art my help and my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set, that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are my enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. <clears throat> o Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand uh, heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in, the, in my bones in the face of my sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine enemies, even this, is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew an eye over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftiness, so the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine, in but mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I. And they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, the Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, the Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee arise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul had cleaved after thee, thy right hand had been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall there be. But the king shall be glad in the Lord. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will rejoice. My soul had cleaved after thee, thy right hand had been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. 
for filled with evils is my soul and my life unto hates had drawn I. I am counted with them to go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more. And they are, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me into the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an ab they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will, wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, in thy righteousness, in that land that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest, not, turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed the fire from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowned thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilled thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executed judgment for all them that are wronged. He had made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he had willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy, not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrath. Not according to our iniquities had he dealt with us, neither according to our sins had he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father had compassion upon his sons, so had the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he had remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Over all. Bless the Lord, only his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication, in the truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy had persecuted my soul, he had humbled my life down to the earth. He had sent me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit with him is become despondent, with him in my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of their hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsted after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away, turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly to destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in the righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land, in the land of, the, of our brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God, our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have for the mercy. peace and love and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have for the mercy. peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have for mercy. this holy house and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein. Let us pray Lord to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. Lord have mercy. Lord, for the Lord and Presbyterian Diacon in Christ, for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to Lord the Lord have mercy. for this holy monastery, this town, for every city, town, and country, sat in the faithful that dwell therein. Let us pray Lord to 
Lord, have mercy. Blessings of the weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times. Let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the men travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives, and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, rather danger and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have Help mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and give us, O God, Lord, have mercy. Us. Calling for members for all holy Michael, most blessed, Lord, Lord, lead us to the Lord, 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 Lord,
before your thorns can know their briar, while they are yet alive, and his wrath shall he swallow them up. The righteous man shall be glad when he seeth the avengement. He shall wash his hands in the blood of the sinner. The man shall say, If indeed there is fruit for the righteous man, there is indeed a God that judges them upon the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Rescue me from mine enemies, O God, from them that rise up against me. Redeem me, deliver me from them that work iniquity, and from men of blood do thou save me. For lo, they have hunted after my soul, the mighty have set upon me. Neither is it mine iniquity, O Lord, nor my sin. Without iniquity I ran, and directed my steps to rise to meet me. And behold, and thou, Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, be attentive to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any that work iniquity. They shall return at evening and shall hunger like dogs and shall go round about the city. Behold, they shall utter sounds with their mouth. A sword is in their lips, for who say they hath heard? And thou, Lord, shall laugh them to scorn. Thou shalt bring to naught all the heathen. O my strength, I will keep watch for thee, for thou, O God, art my helper. As for my God, his mercy shall go before me. My God shall make it manifest unto me among mine enemies. Slay them not, lest at any time they forget thy law. Scatter them by thy power, and bring them down, O Lord, my defender. The sin of their mouth is the speech of their lips. Let them be taken captive in their pride. And from their curse and falsehood shall their final destruction be made known in the wrath of their utter destruction, and they shall be no more. And they shall know that God is sovereign of Jacob and all the ends of the earth. They shall return at evening and shall hunger like dogs and shall go round about the city. They shall be scattered abroad that they may eat. If they be not satisfied, they shall murmur. But as for me, I will sing of thy power, and in the morning will I rejoice in thy mercy. For thou art my come, my helper, and my refuge in the day of my tribulation. Thou art my helper, unto thee will I chant. For thou, O God, art my helper. O my God, thou art my mercy. O God, thou hast cast us off and hast destroyed us. Thou hast been wroth and hast had pity upon us. Thou madest the earth to quake and didst trouble it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it has been shaken. Thou hast shown thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of contrition. Thou hast given a sign to them that fear thee, that they may flee from before the face of the bow, that thy beloved ones may be delivered. Save thou with thy right hand and hearken unto me. God has spoken in his sanctuary. I will rejoice. I will devise the kima and the veil of the tabernacles will I measure out. Mine is Galad, mine is Manassas, and Ephraim is the strength of my head. Judah is my king. Moab is the culprit of my hope. Upon the edge will I stretch out my shoe. The foreign tribes have been subjected unto me. Who will bring me into a fortified city, or who will lead me into Idumea? Will thou not, O God, who has spurned us, and will thou not, O God, go forth with our forces? Give us help from affliction, for vain is the salvation of man. In God we shall work mighty deeds, and he will bring to naught them that afflict us. Hearken, O God, unto my supplication, attend to my prayer. From the ends of the earth unto thee have I cried. When my heart was despondent on a rock, thou hast lifted me on high. Thou hast guided me, for thou art become my help. A tower of strength against the face of the enemy. I will dwell in thy tabernacles unto the ages. I shall be sheltered in the shelter of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast heard my prayer. Thou hast given an inheritance to them that fear thy name. Days shall they add to the days of the king, his years unto days, for generation and generation. He shall abide before the face of God in the age to come. As for his mercy and truth, who shall seek them out? So will I chant unto thy name unto the ages, that I may pay my vows from day to day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Shall not my soul be subjected to God, for from him is my salvation, for he is my God, my Savior, and my Helper, and I shall be shaken no more. How long do you assail a man? You kill all of you as you might assail a leaning wall on a tattering rampart. But they made plans to cast aside mine honor, they ran in falsehood, with their mouth they bless, but with their heart they curse. Be subject unto God, my soul, for from him is my patient endurance. He is my God, my Savior, and my Helper, and I shall not be moved from hence, and God is my salvation and my glory. He is the God of my help, and my hope is in God. Hope in him, all ye congregations of the people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our help, for God is our helper. For the sons of men are vain. The sons of men are a lie in the balance out of vanity. They gather themselves together that they, that they might do injustice. Set not your hopes on injustice, and lust not after plunder. If riches flow in, set not your hearts thereon. Once hath God spoken, these two things have I heard, that dominion belongeth to God, and mercy is thine, O Lord. For thou wilt render to every man according to his works. 
O God, my God, into thee I rise early at dawn, my soul I thirst for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee, in a lamb barren and untrodden and unpottered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory, for thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands, as with marrow and fatness shall my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed, at the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul I cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me, but as for these in vain have they sought out of my soul. They shall go unto the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. Hearken, O God, unto my prayer when I make supplication unto thee, rescue my soul from fear of the enemy, shelter me from the concourse of them that do wickedness, and from the multitude of them that work unrighteousness. They have sharpened their tongues like a sword, they bent their bow, a bitter thing, that they may shoot in secret at the blameless man. Suddenly they shall shoot at him and shall not fear. They have strengthened themselves in a wicked word. They have spoken of hiding snares. They said, Who shall see them? They have searched after iniquity and searching. They are grown weary of searching. A man shall draw nigh, and his heart is in the heart is deep. And God shall be exalted. As an arrow of infants are their blows, and their tongues are made strengthless against them. All that saw them were troubled, and every man was afraid. And they declared the works of God in his Deeds they understood, the righteous man shall be glad in the Lord and shall hope in him, and all that are upright in the heart shall be praised. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and over unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O Lord, glory be to thee. Έτσι την ειρήνη κυρίου Δεχθόμε, αντιλάβω σώσον λέει στον Ιδέα Φιλαξόν ημάς ο Θεός της Ιχάρητη, στον Αγίου Σαφράντου, υπερευλογημένος ο Θεός της Δεσποινής, ημών Θεοτού και Παρθένου Μαρίας, με τα πάντων των Αγίων Μνού, να εύσονται σε αυτούς και λίγους και πάσους, αν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα, αμαντισόν το κράτος και σου εσύν η Βασιλεία και η δύναμης και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. O Lord, Thou hast shown forth Thy disciples shining as lights to all the four quarters brilliantly illumining souls by means of the word they preached. Through them Thou hast darkened the delusion of idols, making the whole world to shine with all godly doctrines. O Savior, by Thy prayer save our souls, since Thou art merciful. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. As Moses guided Israel out of bondage through the Red Sea, when by thy right hand, O Master, he had sunk mighty Pharaoh in the briny depths, likewise with great miracles have thine all wise disciples rent in twain the bitter sea of all godless delusion and guided all the people unto thee, the word eternal, the only true friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. We know the word of the Father, even Christ our God, to be incarnate of the O Virgin Theotokos, only pure and only blessed one. Wherefore we magnify thee, praising thee unceasingly. Life of our Holy Mother Mary of Egypt. Holy Master, bless. Blessed is our God, always now and ever into the ages of the ages. Amen. Amen. It is good to hide the secret of a king, but it is glorious to reveal the works of God. So said the archangel Raphael to Tobit when he performed the wondrous healing of his blindness. Actually, not to keep the secret of a king is perilous and a terrible risk, but to be silent about the works of God is injurious to the soul. And I, says St. Sophronius, in writing the life of St. Mary of Egypt, and, afraid, and am afraid to hide the works of God by silence. Remembering the misfortune threatened to the servant who hid his God-hidden talent in the earth, I am bound to pass on the holy account that has reached me. And let no one think, continues St. Sophronius, that I have had the audacity to write untruth or doubt this great marvel. May I never lie about holy things. If there do happen to be people who, after reading this record, do not believe, do not believe it. May the Lord have mercy on them, because, reflecting on the weakness of human nature, they consider impossible those wonderful things accomplished by holy people. 
But now we must begin to tell this most amazing story which has taken place in our own generation and which was revealed to me by good men experienced from childhood in godly words and deeds. There was a certain elder in one of the monasteries of Palestine, a priest of holy life and speech, who from his childhood had been brought up in the monastic ways and customs. This elder's name was Zosimus. He had been through the whole course of the ascetic life and in everything he adhered to the rules once given to him by his elders as regards spiritual labors. He had also added a good deal himself whilst laboring to subject his flesh to the will of the spirit, and he had not failed in his aim. He was so renowned for his spiritual life that many came to him from neighboring monasteries and some even from afar. While doing all this, he never ceased to study the divine scriptures, whether resting, standing, working, or eating food, if the scraps he enabled could be called food. He incessantly and constantly had a single aim, always to sing of God and to practice the teachings of the divine scriptures. Zosimus used to relate how, as soon as he was taken from his mother's breast, he was handed over to the monastery, where he went through his training as an ascetic till he reached the age of 53. After that, he began to be tormented with the thought that he was perfect in everything and needed no instruction from anyone, saying to himself mentally, Is there a monk on earth who can be of use to me and show me a kind of asceticism that I have not accomplished? Is there a man to be found in the desert who has surpassed me? Thus thought the elder when suddenly an angel appeared to him and said, Zosimus, valiantly have you struggled as far as this is within the power of man. Valiantly have you gone through the ascetic course, but there is no man who has attained perfection. Before you lie unknown struggles greater than those you have accomplished, that you may know how many others, other ways lead to salvation. Leave your native land like the renowned patriarch Abraham and go to the monastery by the river Jordan. Zosimus did as he was told. He left the monastery in which he had lived from childhood and went to the river Jordan. At last he reached the community to which God had sent him. Having knocked at the door of the monastery, he told the monk who was the porter who he was, and the porter told the abbot. On being admitted to the abbot's presence, Zosimus made the usual monastic prostration and prayer. Seeing that he was a monk, the abbot asked him, Where do you come from, brother, and why have you come to us poor old men? Zosimus replied, there is no need to speak about where I have come from, but I have come, Father, seeking spiritual profit, for I have heard great things about your skill in leading souls to God. Brother, the abbot said to him, only God can heal the infirmity of the soul. May he teach you and us his divine ways and guide us. But as it is the love of Christ that has moved you to visit us, poor old men, then stay with us, if that is why you have come. May the good shepherd who laid down his life for our salvation fill us all with grace, with the grace of the Holy Spirit. After this, Zosimus bowed to the abbot and asked for his prayers and blessing and stayed in the monastery. There he saw elders proficient both in action and the contemplation of God, a flame in spirit working for the Lord. They sang incessantly. They stood in prayer all night. Work was ever in their hands and psalms on their lips. Never, did an idle, never was an idle word heard among them. They knew nothing about acquiring temporal goods or of the cares of life, but they had one desire, to become in body like corpses. Their constant food was the word of God, and they sustained their bodies on bread and water as much as their love for God allowed them. Seeing this, Zosimus was greatly edified and prepared for the struggle that lay before him. Many days passed, and the time drew near when all Christians fast and prepare themselves to worship the divine passion and resurrection of Christ. The monastery gates were kept always locked and only opened when one of the community was sent out on some errand. It was a desert place, not only unvisited by people of the world, but even unknown to them. There was a rule in that monastery, which the reason why God brought Zosimus there. At the beginning of the great fast, the priests celebrated the holy liturgy and all partook of the holy body and blood of Christ. After the liturgy, they went to the refectory and would eat a little Lenten food. Then all gathered in church, and after praying earnestly with prostrations, the elders kissed one another and asked forgiveness, and each made a prostration to the abbot and asked his blessing and prayers for the struggle that lay before them. After this, the gates of the monastery were thrown open, and singing, The Lord is my light and my Savior, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? And the rest of that psalm all went out into the desert and crossed the river Jordan. Only one or two brothers were left in the monastery, not to guard the property, for there was nothing to rob, but so as not to leave the church without divine service. Each took with him as much as he could or wanted in the way of food, according to the needs of his body. One would take a little bread, another some figs, another dates or wheat soaked in water, 
and some took nothing but their own body covered with rags and fed when nature forced them to on the plants that grew in the desert. After crossing the Jordan, they all scattered far and wide in different directions. And this was the rule of life they had and which they all observed, neither to talk to one another nor to know how each one lived and fasted. If they did happen to catch sight of one another, they went to another part of the country, living alone and always singing to God and at definite time eating a very small quantity of food. In this way, they spent the whole of the fast and used to return to the monastery a week before the resurrection of Christ on Palm Sunday. Each one returned having his own conscience as a witness of his labor, and no one asked another how he had spent his time in the desert. Such were the rules of the monastery. Every one of them, whilst in the desert, struggled with himself before the judge of the struggle, God, not seeking to please men and fast before the eyes of all. For what is done for the sake of men to win praise and honor is not only useless to the one who does it, but sometimes the cause of great punishment. Zosimus did the same as all, and he went far, far into the desert with a secret hope of finding some father who might be living there who, and who might be able to satisfy his thirst and longing. And he wandered on tireless, as if hurrying on to some definite place. He had already walked for 20 days. When the sixth hour came, he stopped, and turning to the east, he began to sing the sixth hour and recite the customary prayers. He used to break his journey thus at fixed hours of the day to rest a little, to chant psalms and sta- chant sta- to chant psalms standing, and to pray on bent knees. And as he sang thus, without turning his eyes from the heavens, he suddenly saw to the right of the hillock on which he stood, the semblance of a human body. At first he was confused, thinking he beheld a vision of the devil, and even started with fear. But having guarded himself with the sign of the cross and banished all fear, he turned his gaze in that direction and in truth saw some form gliding southwards. It was naked, the skin dark as if burned by the heat of the sun, The hair on his head was white as a fleece, and not long and not long falling on its head, and not long falling just before below its neck. Zosimus was so overjoyed at beholding a human form that he ran after it in pursuit, but the form fled from him. He followed. At length, when he was near enough to be heard, he shouted, Why do you run away from an old man and a sinner, slave of the true God? Wait for me, whoever you are, in God's name I tell you, for the love of God, for whose sake you are living in this desert. Forgive me, for God's sake, but I cannot turn towards you and show me my face, Abba Zosimus, for I am a woman and naked, as you see, with the uncovered shame of my body. But if you would like to fulfill one wish of a sinful woman, throw me your cloak so that I may cover my body and can turn to you and ask for your blessing. Here terror seized Zosimus, for he heard that she called him by name, but he realized that she could not have done so without knowing anything of him if she had not had the power of spiritual insight. He at once did as he was asked. He took off his old tattered cloak and threw it to her, turning away as he did so. She picked it up and was able to cover at least a part of her body. Then she turned to Zosimus and said, Why did you wish, Abba Zosimus, to see a sinful woman? What do you wish to hear or learn from me, you who have not shrunk from such great struggles? Zosimus threw himself on the ground and asked for her blessing. She likewise bowed down before him. And thus they lay on the ground prostrate, asking for each other's blessing and one word alone could be heard from both, bless me. After a long while, the woman said to Zosimus, Abba Zosimus, it is you who must give blessings and pray. You are dignified by the order of the priesthood, and for many years you have been standing before the holy altar and offering the sacrifice of the divine mysteries. This flung Zosimus into even greater terror. At length, with tears, he said to her, O mother, filled with the spirit, by your mode of life, it is evident that you live with God and have died to the world. The grace granted to you is apparent, for you have called me by name and recognized that I am a priest, though you have never seen me before. Grace is recognized not by one's orders, but by gifts of the Spirit. So give me your blessing for God's sake, for I need your prayers. In giving way before the wish of the elder, the woman said, Blessed is God who cares for the salvation of men and their souls. Zosibus answered, Amen, and both rose to their feet. Then the woman asked the elder, Why have you come, man of God, to me who am so sinful? Why do you wish to see a woman naked and devoid of every virtue? Though I know one thing, the grace of the Holy Spirit has brought you to render me a service in time. Tell me, Father, how are the Christian peoples living, and the kings, how is the church guided? Zosimus said, By your prayers, by your holy prayers, Mother, Christ has granted lasting peace to all. But fulfill the unworthy petition of an old man, and pray for the whole world, and for me who am a sinner so that my wanderings in the desert may not be fruitless. She answered, 
You who are a priest, Abba Zosimus, it is you who must pray for me and for all, for this is your calling. But as we must all be obedient, I will gladly do what you ask. And with these words, she turned to the east, and raising her eyes to heaven and stretching out her hand, she began to pray in a whisper. One could not hear separate words, so that Zosimus could not understand anything that she said in her prayers. Meanwhile, he stood according to his own word, all in a flutter, looking at the ground without saying a word. And he swore, calling God to witness, that when at length he thought that her prayer was very long, he took his eyes off the ground and saw that she was raised about a forearm's distance from the ground and stood praying in the air. <clears throat> when he saw this, even greater terror seized him, and he fell on the ground, weeping and repeating many times, Lord, have mercy. And whilst lying prostrate on the ground, he was tempted by a thought. Is it not a spirit, and perhaps her prayer is hypocrisy? But at the very same moment, the woman turned around, raised the elder from the ground, and said, Why do thoughts confuse you, Abba, and tempt you about me, as if I were a spirit and a dissembler in prayer? Know, Holy Father, that I am only a sinful woman, though I am guarded by, the, by holy baptism, and I am no spirit but earth and ashes and flesh alone. And with these words, she guarded herself with the sign of the cross on her forehead, eyes, mouth, and breast, saying, May God defend us from the evil one and from his designs, for fierce is his struggle against us. Hearing and seeing this, the elder fell to the ground and embracing her feet, said with tears, I beg you by the name of Christ our God, who was born of a virgin, for whose sake you have stripped yourself, for whose sake you have exhausted your flesh. Do not hide from your slave who you are and whence and how you came into this desert. Tell me everything so that the marvelous works of God may become known, a hidden wisdom and a secret treasure. What profit is there in them? Tell me all, I implore you, for not out of vanity or for self-display will you speak, but to reveal the truth to me, an unworthy sinner. I believe in God for whom you live and whom you serve. I believe that he has led me into this desert so as to show me his ways in regard to you. It is not in our power to resist the plans of God. If it were not the will of God that you and your life should be known, he would not have allowed me to see you and would not have strengthened me to undertake this journey, one like me who never before dared to leave his cell. Much more, said Abba Zosimus, but the woman raised him and said, I am ashamed, Abba, to speak to you of my disgraceful life. Forgive me, for God's sake. But as you have already seen my naked body, I shall likewise lay bare before you my work, so that you may know with what shame and obscenity my soul is filled. I was not, a running, I was not running away out of vanity, as you thought, for what have I to be proud of, I who was a chosen vessel of the devil? But when I start to my story, you will run from me as from a snake, for your ears will not be able to bear the vileness of my actions. But I shall tell you all without hiding anything, only imploring you first of all to pray incessantly for me, so that I may find mercy on the day of judgment. The elder wept, and the woman began her story. My native land, Holy Father, was Egypt. Already during the time of my lifetime of my parents, when I was 12 years old, I renounced their love and went to Alexandria. I am ashamed to recall how there I at first ruined my maidenhood and then unrestrainedly and insatiably gave myself up to sensuality. It is more becoming to speak of this briefly so that you may, not, so that you may just know my passion and my lechery. For about 17 years, forgive me, I lived like that. I was like a fire of public debauch. And it was not for the sake of gain, here I speak the pure truth. Often when they wished to pay me, I refused the money. I acted in this way so as to make as many men as possible try to obtain me, doing free of charge what gave me pleasure. Do not think that I was rich and that this was the reason why I did not take money. I lived by begging, often by spinning flax, but I had an insatiable desire and an irrepressible passion for lying in filth. This was life to me. Every kind of abuse of nature I regarded as life. That is how I lived. Then one summer, I saw a large crowd of Libyans and Egyptians running toward the sea. I asked one of them, where are these men hurrying to? He replied, they are all going to Jerusalem for the exaltation of the precious and life-giving cross, which takes place in a few days. I said to him, will they take me with them if I wish to go? No one will hinder you if you have money to pay for the journey and for food. And I said to them, to tell you the truth, I have no money, neither have I food, but I shall go with them and shall go aboard, and they shall feed me whether they want to or not. I have a body, they shall take it instead of pay for the journey. I was suddenly filled with a desire to go, Abba, to have more lovers who could satisfy my passion. I told you, Abba Zosimus, not to force me to tell you of my disgrace. God is my witness. I am afraid of defiling you in the very air with my words. Zosimus, weeping, replied to her, 
Speak on, for God's sake, mother. Speak and do not break the thread of such an edifying tale. And resuming her story, she went on. That youth, on hearing my shameless words, laughed and went off. When I, while I, throwing away my spinning wheel, ran off towards the sea in the direction which everyone seemed to be taking, and seeing some young men standing on the shore, about ten or more of them, full of vigor and alert in their movements, I decided that they would do for my purpose. It seemed that some of them were waiting for more travelers, whilst others had gone ashore. Shamelessly as usual, I mixed with the crowd, saying, Take me with you to the place you are going. You will not find me superfluous. I also added a few more words, calling forth general laughter. Seeing my readiness to be shameless, they readily took me aboard the boat. Those who were expected came also, and we set sail at once. How shall I relate to you what happened after this? Whose tongue can tell, whose ears can take in all that took place on the boat during that voyage? And to all this, I frequently force those miserable youths, even against their own will. There is no mentionable or unmentionable depravity of which I was not their teacher. I'm amazed, Abba, how the sea stood our uh, licentiousness, how the earth did not open its jaws, and how it was that hell did not swallow me alive when I had entangled in my net so many souls. But I think God was seeking my repentance, for he does not desire the death of a sinner, but it magnanimously awaits his return to him. At last we arrived in Jerusalem. I spent the days before the festival in the town, living the same kind of life, perhaps even worse. I was not content with the youths I had seduced at sea and who had helped me come to Jerusalem. Many others, citizens of the town and foreigners, I also seduced. The holy day of the exaltation of the cross dawned while I was still flying about hunting for youths. At daybreak, I saw that everyone was hurrying to the church, so I ran with the rest. When the hour for the holy, holy elevation approached, I was trying to make my way into the crowd, which was struggling to get through the church doors. I had at last squeezed through with great difficulty, almost to the entrance of the temple, from which the life-giving tree of the cross was being shown to the people. But when I trod on the doorstep, which everyone passed, I was stopped by some force which prevented my entering. Meanwhile, I was brushed aside by the crowd and found myself standing alone in the courtyard of the church. Thinking that this had happened to me because of my woman's weakness, I began again to work my way into the crowd, trying to elbow myself forward, but in vain I struggled. Again my feet trod on the doorstep over which others were entering the church without encountering any obstacle. I alone seemed to remain unaccepted by the church. It was as if there was a detachment of soldiers standing in there to oppose my entrance. Once again I was excluded by the same mighty force and again I stood in the forecourt. I repeated my attempts three or four times. At last I felt exhausted and had no more strength to push and to be pushed. So I went aside and stood in a corner of the porch. And only then, with great difficulty, it began to dawn on me, and I began to understand the reason why I was prevented from being admitted to see the life-giving cross. The word of salvation gently touched the eyes of my heart and revealed to me that it was my unclean life which barred the entrance to me. I began to weep and lament and beat my breast and to sigh from the depths of my heart. And so I stood weeping when I saw above me the icon of the Most Holy Mother of God. This concludes the first half of the life of St. Mary of Egypt. Have mercy on me, O God, according to the great mercy and according to the multitude of compassion, but of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know mine iniquity and my sin never before me. Against you will never be sinned, and none this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in the words and prevail in thou judge. For your whole life is conceived in iniquities. For your whole life is conceived in iniquities and in sins of a mother bear me. Behold, thus love truth. The hidden secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou desirest sacrifice, I have given it. Full burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. Sacrificing to God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. To the good Lord, and thy good pleasure, and to Sion, let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness with oblation, hope, and offerings, then to offer bullocks with an altar. 
Βοηθός και σκεπαστής έγινε το μη σωτηρίαν, ούτως μου Θεός και δοξάσω Αυτόν, Θεός του Πατρός μου και υψώσω Αυτόν, εν δόξος γάρδε δόξαστε. He is become a helper and protector for me unto salvation. This is my God and I will glorify him, the God of my Father, and I will exalt him, for gloriously hath he been glorified. Have mercy on you, God. Have mercy on me. Where shall I begin to lament the deeds of my wretched life? What first fruit shall I now devote to this song of lamentation of Christ? But since thou art compassionate, grant me forgiveness of transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Come with thy flesh, O wretched soul, and confess to the Creator of all. And henceforth, refrain from thy former foolishness, and, re and in repentance offer tears to God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Having rivaled the first called Adam in his transgression, I recognized myself to be stripped naked of God and of the of the everlasting kingdom and of the life because of my sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Woe is me, O wretched soul. Woe is me, O wretched soul. Why hast thou made thyself like unto the first Eve? For thou didst look evilly and was bitterly wounded and didst touch the tree, and didst rashly taste of that deceitful food. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The passionate thought in my flesh has become for me a spiritual eve in place of the visible eve, showing me sweet things, and ever giving me to taste of a bitter draught. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Rightly was Adam exiled from Eden aforetime, as not having kept thy one commandment, O Savior. But what shall I suffer, who am ever rejecting thy quickening oracles? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Incurring Cain's blood guiltiness by mine own choice, I am become a murderer of my soul's conscience, giving life to the flesh and taking up arms against my soul through mine evil deeds. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have not imitated Abel's righteousness of Jesus. I have never offered thee acceptable gifts, nor godly deeds, nor a pure sacrifice, nor a blameless life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like a Cain, a wretched soul, we together have also brought filthy deeds unto the Creator of all, and a blameless sacrifice, and an unprofitable life, for which we are also condemned. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Molding clay into a living creature, O potter, thou didst endow me with flesh and bones and breath and life. But, O my Creator, my Redeemer and Judge, accept me in repentance. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Savior, I tell thee the sins that I have wrought and the wounds both of my soul and of my flesh, which murderous thoughts have thievishly laid up within me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Though I have sinned, O Savior, yet I know that Thou art the friend of man. Thou smitest with compassion and pitiest fervently. Thou beholdest me weeping, and Thou runnest forth as a father, calling back the prodigal. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have thrown myself down before Thy doors, O Savior. Even in mine old age, cast me not away empty into Hades. But before the end, as Thou art the friend of man, grant me the forgiveness of transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am he that fell among thieves, even my thoughts. Now I am completely wounded by them. I am smitten with bruises, but do thou thyself stand by me, O Christ, Savior, and heal me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. First, a priest saw me and passed by on the other side, and the Levite, seeing me in an evil state, Overlooked me when I was naked, but do thou who shonest forth from Mary stand by me, O Jesus, and have compassion on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of all, take away from me the heavy yoke of my sin, and as thou art compassionate, grant me the forgiveness of transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. It is the time for repentance. I draw an eye to thee, my fashioner. Take away from me the heavy yoke of sin, and as thou art compassionate, grant me the forgiveness of transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. 
Abhor me not, O Savior, do not cast me away from thy countenance. Take away from me the heavy yoke of sin, and as thou art compassionate, grant me the forgiveness of transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. All mine offenses, voluntary and involuntary, and the manifest and hidden, and known and unknown, do thou, O Savior, forgive. As thou art God, be gracious and save me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. From my youth, O Savior, I have rejected thy commandments. I have passed my whole life in passions, carelessly and idly. Wherefore I cry to thee, O Savior, save me even at the end. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Having squandered the substance of my soul in prodigal living, I am destitute of godly virtues. And being a hungered, I cry aloud, O Father of mercies, have, make haste to have compassion on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall down before thee, O Jesus, I have sinned against thee. Be gracious unto me, take away from me the heavy yoke of sin. And since thou art compassionate, grant me tears of compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Enter not into judgment with me, bringing forward the things that I have done, seeking accounts and the causes of guilt, but in thy compassions overlook my grievous deeds and save me, O Almighty One. Have mercy on you, God, have mercy on you. O righteous Mother Mary, if you see every hand. By divine providence from on high, give me thy bright beaming grace to escape from the darkening of the passions and eagerly to sing of the delightful achievements of the life of Mary. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. Bowing down to the divine laws of Christ, thou camest unto him, leaving behind the unbridled impulses of the pleasures, and didst venerably achieve every virtue as one. O holy hierarch Andrew, intercede on our behalf. By thine entreaties, O renowned Andrew, deliver us from dishonorable passions and show us to be partakers of the kingdom of Christ, as with faith and longing we sing thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity transcendent in essence, who art worshipped in unity, take away from me the heavy yoke of sin, and as thou art compassionate, give me tears of compunction. Hold now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou hope and protection of them that sing thy praise, take away from me the heavy yoke of sin, and since thou art our pure lady, accept me in repentance. <coughs> Tonek Parthenus Arki Epidemis Andan. Attend, O heaven, and I shall speak, and shall praise Christ who is come in the flesh from a virgin. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy on me. Attend, O heaven, and I shall speak, O earth, give ear unto a voice, repenting unto God and praising Him. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Attend unto me with a merciful gaze, O God, since thou art compassionate, and accept mine ardent confession. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have sinned above all men, I alone have sinned against thee, but, O Savior, have compassion as God upon thy creation. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A storm of evils doth encompass me, but, O compassionate Lord, stretch forth thy hand to me also as thou didst to Peter. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The herald's tears do I also bring forward, O compassionate one. Be gracious unto me, O Savior, in thy compassion. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have hearkened, I have blackened the beauty of my soul with passionate pleasures, and I have wholly changed my mind to mire. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have now rent asunder my first robe that my fashioner wove for me from the beginning, and hence I lie naked. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have put on the torn raiment which the serpent wove for me by his counsel, and I am ashamed. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I looked upon the beauty of the tree, and my mind was beguiled, and hence I lie naked, and I am ashamed. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O the authors of the passions wrought upon my back, lengthening out their iniquity against me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have destroyed my first created beauty and majesty, and now I lie naked and I am ashamed. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
Sin which stripped me of my former God woven robe hath also sewn me coats of skin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am wrapped with the raiment of shame, with the raiment of shame and as as with fig leaves in reproof of my freely chosen passions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am clad in a garment bespotted and shamefully bloodied with the discharge of a passionate and pleasure-loving life. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have stained the garment of my flesh and befouled that which was made in thine image and likeness of Savior. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have fallen under the weight of passions and the corruption of material things, and with this the enemy now presseth me down. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Having preferred a materialistic and possession loving life to non possessiveness, O Savior, I am now held by a heavy yoke. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have adorned the idol of the flesh with a many covered robe of shameful thoughts, and I am condemned. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. For the outward adornment only have I diligently taken care, neglecting the inner tabernacle formed in the image of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Forming the deformity of my passions, by my pleasure-loving impulses, I have ruined the beauty of my mind. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have tarnished the beauty of the original image with passions, O Savior. But seek me, but seek for me like the drachma of old and find me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. Like the harlot I cry unto thee, I have sinned. I alone have sinned against thee, accept my tears also as myrrh, O Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have slipped like David through unbridled indulgence and am deep in the mire, but wash me also, O Savior, with my tears. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like the publican, I cry unto thee, be gracious, O Savior, be gracious unto me, for none of Adam's children had sinned against thee as I. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Neither tears nor repentance have I, nor compunction, but, O Savior, did thou thyself as God give them unto me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Lord, O Lord, shut not thy door against me then, but open it to me who repent before thee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O friend of man, who would have all men to be saved, do thou call me back again, and since thou art good, receive me who repent. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Give ear unto the groaning of my soul, and receive the teardrops of mine eyes, O Savior, and save me. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O Immaculate Virgin Theotoko, who alone art praise of all, earnestly entreat that we be saved. Ide te, ide te, oti egoi mi Theos, humana epum vrisas, que tu idore petras, pigasas pale en erimo to laomu, Timoni dexia que ti skiti emi. Upon the end. Si, si that I am God, who of all grain that manna, and may water to gush forth from the rock for my people in the wilderness, by my right hand and my strength alone. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Si, si that I am God, give ear my soul unto the Lord who cried, and Tear thyself away from thy former sin, and fear him as the ju- as the juror and judge and God. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Whom dost thou resemble, O soul, that art abundant in sins? If not the first Cain and that Lamech, who has stoned thy body to death with evil deeds and murdered thy mind with irrational impulses. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Hearing past all those before the law, O my soul, thou hast not been like unto Seth, nor imitated Enos, nor Enoch in his translation, nor Noah, but thou art seen to be destitute of the life of the righteous. 
Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou alone, O my soul, hast opened up the floodgates of the wrath of God, and as the earth has flooded all thy flesh, and thy doings, and thy life, and has remained outside the ark of salvation. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have murdered a man, said Lamech, unto my wounding, and a young man unto my hurt, mourning, he cried. But thou, my soul, thou dost not tremble, though thou hast polluted thy flesh and defiled thy mind. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Oh, how I have emulated Lamech, the murderer of old, stirred up by my love of pleasure. I have slain my soul as it were a man, my mind as it were a youth, and my body as it were my brother, like the murderer Cain. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast contrived to build a tower, O my soul, and to erect a stronghold for thy lusts, had not the Creator confounded thy counsels and brought thy devices crashing down to the earth. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am smitten, I am wounded. Behold the arrows of the enemy that have pierced my soul and body through and through. Behold the wounds, the festering sores, the maimings that loudly proclaim the blows of my self-chosen passions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The Lord once rained down fire from the Lord, burning up the rampant iniquity of Sodom. But thou, my soul, hast kindled the fire of Gehenna, wherein thou art about to be bitterly burnt. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Know and see that I am God, that searcheth the hearts, punishing thoughts, reproving actions, burning up sins, and executing judgment for the orphan, and the lowly, and the poor. Have most holy for righteous Christ's Mother, Mother Mary, Mary intercede, intercede on your behalf. behalf. Thou didst spread out thy hands unto the compassion of God, O Mary, when thou wast plunged in the abyss of evils, and he in his love for man stretched out a helping hand as he did to Peter, seeking thy conversion by every means. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on your behalf. With all eagerness thou didst run to Christ with longing, turning away from thy former way of sin, being nourished in the impassable wilderness and faultlessly fulfilling his divine commandments. O holy heart, and we proceed on behalf. Let us see, let us see, O my soul, our God and Master's love for man, for the sake of which before the end let us fall down before him, crying out with tears by Andrew's entreaties, O Savior, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O beginningless, uncreated Trinity, indivisible unity, receive me who repent, save me who have sinned. I am thy creature, overlook me not, but spare me and rescue me from the fire of condemnation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Immaculate Lady, birth giver of God, thou hope of them that have recourse to thee, and haven of the storm tossed, make him that is merciful, thy Creator and Son, to be merciful also unto me by thine entreaties. <coughs> Epitina saluton Christe, Petra ton entolon su, tin ecclesian sustere o sol. Upon the unshakable rock of thy commandments, O Christ, do thou establish thy church. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The Lord rained down fire from the... The Lord rained down fire from the Lord, O my soul, and burned up the land of Sodom. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Flee for safety to the mountain, O my soul, like that lot and in Sigar, preserve thyself before the time. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Flee from the fire, O my soul, flee from the burning of Sodom, flee from the destruction of a divine conflagration. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I confess to thee, O Savior, I have sinned, I have sinned against thee, but remit, forgive me, since thou art compassionate. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I alone have sinned against thee, I have sinned above all men, O Christ, Savior, do not despise me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou art the good shepherd, seek me out the lamb, and disregard me not, gone astray. <coughs> have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. <coughs> Thou art sweet Jesus, thou art my fashioner, in thee, O Savior, shall I be justified. Have, O Holy Trinity, O God, have mercy on us and save O us. Trinity and unity, O God, save us from error and temptations and, and adversities. 
Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Rejoice, O God, receiving the womb. Rejoice, O throne of the Lord. Rejoice, thou mother of our life. Deus in Kyrie, epit in Petron Tonen, Dolonsu, Sale Fisandi in Cardian Mu, Otimonus Agio Sipar, Kise Kyrie. Establish my heart, O my shaken heart, O Lord, upon the rock of thy commandments, for thou alone art holy and Lord. Have mercy, O God, have mercy. I have acquired thee the destroyer of death as the fountain of life, and before the end I cry unto thee from my heart, I have sinned, be gracious to save me. <clears throat> have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have imitated them that led a lascivious life in Noah's day, O Savior, earning a share in their condemnation to be drowned in the flood. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against thee. Be gracious unto me, for there is none among men who have sinned that I have not surpassed in transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In imitating that Ham who trampled upon his father, O my soul, thou hast not covered thy neighbor's shame, bending over him while facing backwards. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast not inherited Shem's blessing, O righteous soul, neither hast thou had the enlarged possession like Japheth in the land of forgiveness. Have mercy, O God, have mercy on me. Get thee out of the country of the Haran of sin, O my soul, into a land flowing with ever living corruption which Abraham inherited. Have mercy, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast heard, O my soul, how Abraham of old left the land of his fathers and became a nomad, imitate his purpose. Have mercy, me, O God, have mercy on me. When the patriarch gave hospitality to the angels at the oak of Mambre in his old age, he inherited the prize of the promise. Have mercy, me, O God, have mercy on me. O my wretched soul, knowing how Isaac was mystically offered whole unto the Lord as a new kind of sacrifice, imitate his purpose. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O my soul, thou hast heard how Ishmael was driven out as the offspring of the slave girl. Be sober and see that thou not suffer something similar in following thy lust. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou, my soul, art become like unto Hagar, the Egyptian of old, being a slave by volition and bringing forth a new Ishmael, thine own self will. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou knowest, O my soul, how the ladder shown to Jacob reaching from earth to heaven, why hast thou not set piety as a sure step? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Imitate the priest of God and King set apart, who was a likeness of the life of Christ in the world among men. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Become not a pillar of salt, O my soul, by turning back, but let the example of the Sodomites affry to thee, preserve thyself on high in Sigor. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Flee like Lot, O my soul, from the fire of sin, Flee from Sodom and Gomorrah, flee the flame of every deceitful appetite. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I cry to thee, have mercy, O Lord, have mercy on me, when thou shalt come with thine angels to render unto all according as their deeds deserve. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Cast not away the prayer of them that sing thy praise, O Master, but have compassion, O friend of men, and grant forgiveness to those who ask in faith. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on behalf. I am beset by the surging and uplifted billows of offenses, O Mother, but do thou thyself now save me and bring me into the haven of divine repentance. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on behalf. As thou now offerest a prayer of entreaty unto the compassionate Theotokos, O righteous Mary, by thine intercession open unto me thy divine entry. O holy hierarch Andrew, intercede on behalf. By thine entreaties, give, give even me the loosing of debts, O Andrew, prelate of Crete, 
For thou art the peerless initiator into the mystery of repentance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For unity, simple and uncreated, O beginningless nature, him in the trinity of hypostases, save us who in faith worship thy dominion. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Without knowing a man, thou givest birth in time unto the Father's timeless Son, O Mother of God. Strange is the wonder that, well, suckling him, thou remainest a virgin. Mm -hmm. Establish my shaken heart, O Lord, upon the rock of thy commandments, for thou alone art holy and Lord. The conclusion of the life of St. Mary of Egypt. Holy Master, bless. Amen. And so I stood weeping when I saw above me the icon of the Most Holy Mother of God, and turning to her my bodily and spiritual eyes, I said, O Lady Mother of God, who gave us birth in the flesh to the God the Word, I know, oh how well I know, that it is no honor of praise to thee when one so impure and depraved as I look upon thy icon, O ever virgin, who didst keep thy body and soul in purity. Rightly do I inspire hatred and disgust before thy virginal purity. But I have heard that God, who was born of thee, became man on purpose to call sinners to repentance. Then help me, for I have no other help. Order the entrance of the church to be open to me, allowing me to see the venerable tree on which he who was born of thee suffered in the flesh, and on which he shed his holy blood for the redemption of sinners, and for me, unworthy as I am. Be my faithful witness before thy Son that I will never again defile my body by the impurity of fornication, but as soon as I have seen the tree of the cross, I will renounce the world and its temptations and will go ever, wherever thou dost wilt, lead, wilt to lead me. Thus I spoke, and as if acquiring some hope in firm faith and feeling some confidence in the mercy of the Mother of God, I left the place where I stood praying, and I went again and mingled with the crowd that was pushing its way into the temple. And now no one seemed to thwart me, no one hindered my entering the church. I was possessed with trembling, was almost in delirium. Having got as far as the doors which I could not reach before, as if the same force which had hindered me cleared the way for me, I now entered without difficulty and found myself within the, within the holy place. And so it was, I saw the life-giving cross. I saw, too, the mysteries of God and how the Lord accepts repentance. Throwing myself on the ground, I worshipped that holy earth and kissed it with trembling. Then I came out of the church and went to her who had promised to be my security, to the place where I had sealed my vow. My vow. And bending my knees before the Virgin Mother of God, I addressed to her such words as these. O loving lady, thou hast shown me thy great love for all men. Glory to God who receives the repentance of sinners through thee. What more can I recollect or say, I who am so sinful? It is time for me, O lady, to fulfill my vow according to thy witness. Now lead me by the hand along the path of repentance. And at these words, I heard a voice from on high. If you cross the Jordan, you will find rest. Hearing this voice and having faith that it was for me, I cried to the Mother of God, O Lady, Lady, do not forsake me. With these words, I left the courtyard of the church and set off on my journey. As I was leaving the church, a stranger glanced at me and gave me three coins, saying, Sister, take these. And taking the money, I bought three loaves and took them with me on my journey as a blessed gift. I asked the person who sold the bread, which is the way to the Jordan? I was directed to the city gate, which led that way. Running on, I passed the gates and, still weeping, went on my journey. Those I met, I asked the way, and after walking for the rest of the, that day, I think it was nine o'clock when I saw the cross, I at length reached at sunset the church of St. John the Baptist, which stood on the banks of the Jordan. After praying in the temple, I went down to the Jordan and rinsed my face and hands in its holy waters. I partook of the holy and life-giving mysteries in the church of the forerunner and ate half of one of my loaves. Then, after drinking some water from the Jordan, I lay down and passed the night on the ground. In the morning, I found a small boat and crossed to the opposite bank. I again prayed to Our Lady to lead me whither she wished. Then I found myself in this desert, and since then, up to this very day, I am estranged from all, keeping away from people and running away from everyone. And I live here clinging to my God, who saves all who turn to him from faint-heartedness and from storms. Zosimus asked her, how many years have gone by since you began to live in this desert? She replied, 47 years have gone by now, I think, since I left the holy city. Zosimus asked, but what food do you find? The woman said, I had two and a half loaves when I crossed the Jordan. Soon they dried up and became hard as rock. Eating a little, I gradually finished them after a few years. 
Zosimus asked, Can it be that without getting ill you have lived so many years thus, without suffering in any way from such a complete change? The woman answered, You remind me, Zosimus, of what I dare not speak of. For when I recall all the dangers which I overcame and all the violent thoughts which confused me, I am again afraid that they will take possession of me. Zosimus said, Do not hide from me anything. Speak to me without concealing anything. And she said to him, Believe me, Abba, seventeen years I pass in this desert fighting wild beasts, mad desires and passions. When I was about to partake of food, I used to begin to regret the meat and fish of which I had so much in Egypt. I regretted also not having wine, which I loved so much, for I drank a lot of wine when I lived in the world, while here I have not even water. I had not even water. I used to burn and succumb with thirst. The mad desire for profligate songs also entered me and confused me greatly, edging me on to sing satanic songs which I had learned once. But when such desires entered me, I struck myself on the breast and reminded myself of the vow which I had made when going into the desert. In my thoughts, I returned the icon of the Mother of God, which had received me, and to her I cried in prayer. I implored her to chase away the thoughts to which my miserable soul was succumbing. And after weeping for long and beating my breast, I used to see light at last, which seemed to shine on me from everywhere. And after the violent storm, lasting calm descended. And how can I tell you about the thoughts which urged me on to fornication? How can I express them to you, Abba? A fire was kindled in my miserable heart, which seemed to burn me up completely and to awaken me a thirst for embraces. As soon as this craving came to me, I flung myself upon the earth and watered it with my tears, as if I saw before me my witness, who had appeared to me in my disobedience and who seemed to threaten punishment for the crime. And I did not rise from the ground. Sometimes I lay thus prostrate for a day and a night until a calm and sweet light descended and enlightened me and chased away the thoughts that possessed me. But always I turned, to the eyes, I turned the eyes of my mind to my protectress, asking her to extend help to one who was sinking fast in the waves of the desert. And I always had her as my helper and the acceptor of my repentance. And thus I lived for 17 years amidst constant dangers. And since then, even till now, the mother of God helps me in everything and leads me as it were by the hand. Zosimus asked, can it be that you did not need food and clothing? She answered, after finishing the loaves I had, of which I spoke, for 17 years I have fed on herbs that, and all that, I can be found, all that can be found in the desert. The clothes I had when I crossed the Jordan became torn and worn out. I suffered greatly from the cold and greatly from the extreme heat. At times the sun burned me up and at other times I shivered from the frost and frequently falling to the ground, I lay without breath and without motion. I struggled with many afflictions and with terrible temptations. But from that time till now, the power of God in numerous ways has guarded my sinful soul and my humble body. When I only reflect on the evils from which our Lord hath delivered me, I have imperishable food for hope of salvation. I am fed and clothed by the all-powerful word of God and the Lord of all. For it is not by bread alone that man lives. And those who have stripped off the drags of sin have no refuge, hiding themselves in the clefts of the rocks. Hearing that she cited words of scripture from Moses, Job, and the Psalms, Zosimus asked her, And so you have read the Psalms and other books? She smiled at this and said to the elder, Believe me, I have not seen a human face ever since I crossed the Jordan, except yours today. I have not seen a beast or a living being ever since I came into this desert. I never learned from books. I have never even heard anyone who sang and read from them. But the word of God, which is alive and active, by itself teaches a man knowledge. And so this is the end of my tale. But as I asked you in the beginning, so even now I implore you for the sake of the incarnate word of God to pray to the Lord for me who am such a sinner. Thus concluding her tale, she bowed down before him and with tears the elder exclaimed, Blessed is God who creates the great and wondrous, the glorious and marvelous without end. Blessed is God who has shown me how he rewards those who fear him. Truly, O Lord, thou dost not forsake those who seek thee. And the woman, not allowing the elder to bow down before her, said, I beg you, Holy Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, tell no one what you have heard until, the, until God delivers me of this earth. And now depart in peace, and again next year you shall see me, and I you, if God will preserve us in his great mercy. But for God's sake, do as I ask. Next year, during Lent, do not cross the Jordan as is your custom in the monastery. Zosimus was amazed to hear that she knew the rules of the monastery and could only say, Glory to God who bestows great gifts on those who love him. She continued, Remain, Abba, in the monastery, and even if you wish to depart, you will not be able to do so. 
and at sunset of the holy day of the Last Supper, put some of the life-giving body and blood of Christ into a holy vessel worthy to hold such mysteries for me, and bring it, and wait for me on the banks of the Jordan, adjoining the inhabited parts of the land, so that I can come and partake of the life-giving gifts. For since the time I communicated in the temple of the forerunner before crossing the Jordan, even to this day, I have not approached the holy mysteries, and I thirst for them with irrepressible love and longing. And therefore I ask and implore you to grant me my wish. Bring me the life-giving mysteries at the very hour when our Lord made his disciples partakers of his divine supper. Tell John the abbot of the monastery where you live, look to yourself and to your brothers, for there is much that needs correction. Only do not say this now, but when God guides you. Pray for me. With these words, she vanished into the depths of the desert, and Zosimus, falling down on his knees and bowing down to the ground on which she had stood, sent up glory and thanks to God. And after wandering through the desert, he returned to the monastery on the day that all the brethren returned. For the whole year he kept silent, not daring to tell anyone of what he had seen, but in his soul he prayed to God to give him another chance of seeing the ascetic's dear face. And when at length the first Sunday of the great fast came, all went out into the desert with the customary prayers and singing of psalms. Only Zosimus was held back by illness. He lay in a fever. And then he remembered what the saint had said to him, and even if you wish to depart, you will not be able to do so. Many days passed, and at last recovering from his illness, he remained in the monastery. And when again the monks returned and the day of the Last Supper dawned, he did as he had been ordered. And placing some of the most pure body and blood into a small chalice, and putting some figs and dates and lentils soaked in water into a small basket, he departed for the desert and reached the banks of the Jordan and sat down to wait for the saint. He waited for a long time, for a long while, and then began to doubt. Then raising his eyes to heaven, he began to pray, Grant me, O Lord, you behold that which thou hast allowed me to behold once. Do not let me depart in vain, bearing the burden of my sins. <clears throat> and then another thought struck him. And what if she does come? There is no boat. How will she cross the Jordan to come to me, who am so unworthy? And as he was pondering thus, he saw the holy woman appear and stand on the other side of the river. Zosimus got up rejoicing and glorifying and thanking God. And again the thought came to him that she, should not, she could not cross the Jordan. Then he saw that she made the sign of the cross over the waters of the Jordan, and the night was a moonlight one, as he related afterwards. And then she at once stepped onto the waters and began moving across the surface towards him. And when he wanted to prostrate himself, she cried out to him while still walking on the water, What are you doing, Abba? You are a priest and carrying the divine gifts. He obeyed her, and on reaching the shore, she said to the elder, Bless, Father, bless me. He answered her trembling, for a state of confusion had overcome him at the sight of the miracle. Truly, God did not lie when he promised that when we purify ourselves, we should be likened to him. Glory to thee, Christ our God, who has shown me through this, thy slave, how far away I stand from perfection. Here the woman asked him to say the creed and our father. He began, she finished the prayer, and according to the custom of that time, gave him the kiss of peace on the lips. Having partaken of the holy mystery, she raised her hands to heaven and sighed with tears in her eyes, exclaiming, Now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, O Lord, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Then she said to the elder, Forgive me, Abba, for asking you, but fulfill another wish of mine. Go now to the monastery, and let God's grace guard you. And next year, come again to the same place where I first met you. Come, for God's sake, for you shall again see me, for such is the will of God. He said to her, From this day on, I would like to follow you and always see your holy face. But now fulfill the one and only wish of an old man, and take a little of the food I have brought for you. And he showed her the basket, while she just touched the lentils with the tips of her fingers, and taking three grains, said that the Holy Spirit guards the substance of the soul unpolluted. Then she said, Pray for God's sake, pray for me, and remember a miserable wretch. Touching the saint's feet and asking for her prayers for the church, the kingdom, and himself, he let her depart with tears while he went off sighing and sorrowful, for he could not hope to vanquish the invincible. Meanwhile, she again made the sign of the cross over the Jordan and stepped onto the waters and crossed over as before. And the elder returned filled with joy and terror, accusing himself of not having asked the saint her name, but he decided to do so next year. And when another year had passed, he again went into the desert. He reached the same spot, could, but could see no sign of anyone. So raising his eyes to heaven as before, he prayed, Show me, O Lord, thy pure treasure, which thou hast concealed in the desert. Show me, I pray thee, thy angel in the flesh, of which the world is not worthy. And then on the opposite bank of the river, her face turned towards the rising sun, he saw the saint lying dead. 
Her hands were crossed according to custom, and her face was turned to the east. Running up, he shed tears over the saints' feet and kissed them, not daring <clears throat> to touch anything else. For a long time he wept. Then, reciting the appointed psalms, he said the burial prayers and thought to himself, must I bury the body of a saint, or will this be contrary to her wishes? And then he saw words traced on the ground by her head. Abaz Osimus, bury on this spot the body of humble Mary. Return to dust that which is dust, and pray to the Lord for me, who departed in the month of Vermuthan of Egypt, called April by the Romans, on the first day, on the very night of our Lord's Passion, after having partaken of the divine mysteries. Reading this, the elder was glad to know the saint's name. He understood, too, that as soon as she had partaken of the divine mysteries on the shore of the Jordan, she was at once transported to the place where she died. The distance which Zosimus had taken 20 days to cover, Mary had evidently traversed in an hour and had at once surrendered her soul to God. Then Zosimus thought, it is time to do as she wished, but how am I to dig a grave with nothing in my hands? And then he saw nearby a, piece of, a small piece of wood left by some traveler in the desert. Picking it up, he began to dig the ground, but the earth was hard and dry and did not yield to the efforts of the elder. He grew tired and covered with sweat. He sighed from the depths of his soul, and lifting up his eyes, he saw a big lion standing close to the saint's body and licking her feet. At the sight of the lion, he trembled with fear, especially when he called to mind Mary's words that she had never seen wild beasts in the desert. But guarding himself with the sign of the cross, the thought came to him that the power of the one lying there would protect, her and keep, would protect him and keep him unharmed. Meanwhile, the lion drew nearer to him, expressing affection by its every mov movement. Zosimus said to the lion, the great one ordered that her body was to be buried, but I am old and have not the strength to dig the grave, for I have no spade, and it would take too long to go and get one. So can you carry out the work with your claws? Then we can commit to earth the mortal temple of the saint. While he was still speaking, the lion with his front while he was still speaking, the lion with his front paws began to dig a hole deep enough to bury the body. And again the elder washed the feet of the saint with his tears, and calling on her to pray for all, covered the body with earth in the presence of the lion. It was as it had been, naked and uncovered by anything but the tattered cloak which had been given to her by Zosimus, and with which Mary, turning away, had managed to cover part of her body. Then both departed. The lion went off into the depth of the desert like a lamb, while Zosimus returned to the monastery, glorifying and blessing Christ our God. And on reaching the monastery, he told all the brethren everything about everything, and all marveled on hearing of God's miracles, and with fear and love, they have kept the memory of the saint. Abbot John, as St. Mary had previously told Abbas Zosimus, found a number of things wrong in the monastery and got rid of them with God's help. And St. Zosimus died in the same monastery, almost attaining the age of 100, and passed to eternal rest. The monks kept the, the sto this story without writing it down and passed it on by word of mouth to one another. But I, adds St. Sophronius, as soon as I heard it, wrote it down. Perhaps someone else better informed has already written the life of the saint, but as far as I could, I have recorded everything, putting truth above all else. My God, who works amazing miracles and generously bestows gifts on those who turn to him with faith, reward those who seek light for themselves in this story, who hear, read, and are zealous to write it. And may he grant them the lot of Blessed Mary, together with all those who at different times have pleased God by their pious thoughts and labors. And let us also give glory to God, the eternal King, that he may grant us too his mercy in the day of judgment. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom belongs all glory, honor, dominion, and adoration, with the eternal Father and the most holy and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and give us for God by thy grace. Lord, Calling for members for all who may the most blessed. Lord, Lord, to the Lord, 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 with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ to our God. Lord. For thou art our God and unto thee to be sent love glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Ye lights divinely bright, and the saviors thy witnesses, illuminate us all in this life filled with darkness, that we may now walk nobly, as in the day of apostles of the Lord, driving our darksome passions with the bright shining of toils in abstinence, that we with joy might see the Savior Christ most bright and saving passion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
O ye divinely chosen band of twelve apostles, offer to Christ your mighty prayers that we accomplish this whole course of the fast now, even to the finish, performing with warm compunction our daily prayers and working the virtues diligently with zeal, that we all might come speedily to see the glorious, see the and, glorious and bright, bright resurrection, resurrection of Christ God, offering glory and praise to Him, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the apostles, O holy Theotokos, entreat the Son and Word of God, no thought can fathom, who was born of the passing mind and explanation. Implore him to grant the world true and lasting peace, and us pardon of our failings before the end, all about saving thy servitors, the heavenly kingdom enjoy by reason of his infinite and extreme goodness unto all. O apostles of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Be like the apostles of Christ who pass their life in abstinence. Make the season of abstinence easy for us by their divine mediations. O apostles of Christ, intercede in our behalf. The twelve-stringed instrument, even the inspired choir of the disciples, sang a saving strain, putting evil melodies to confusion. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. With showers of the Spirit, he watered all things under the sun, driving away the drought of polytheism. O all blessed apostles, most holy Theotokos, save us. Humble me and save me, who have lived high-mindedly, O all pure virgin who gave his birth to him that highly exalted the nature that had been brought low. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. O all venerable choir of apostles, I have heard thy report, O Lord, and I was afraid. I considered thy works, O Master, and I glorify the dominion. O apostles of Christ, <coughs> intercede on our behalf. O all venerable choir of apostles, importune the Creator of all, supplicating Him that we who acclaim you find mercy. O Apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf as Christ's workmen who cultivated the whole world with the divine word. O Apostles, He offered Him fruits at all times. O Apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. He became a vineyard for Christ, the beloved indeed, O Apostles, for He gushed forth the wine of the Spirit into the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O supremely sovereign, all-powerful, holy trinity, possessing oneness of form, Father, Word, and Holy Spirit, God, light, and life, guard thy flock, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, throne of fiery form. Rejoice, lampstand, bearing the light. Rejoice, O mountain of sanctification, ark of life, holy tabernacle of the holies. <clears throat> Akiko and O Prophetis, Tinelel sin sukiri e ke foviti, O Timelis ek parthenu tik testai, ke anthropis dik neste ke legen, Akiko atinako in suke fovitin, doxati dinami sukiri e. The prophet heard of thy coming, O Lord, and was afraid. For thou wast about to be born of a virgin and shown unto men. And he said, I have heard thy report and was afraid. Glory to thy power, O Lord. Have mercy on you, God. Have mercy on me. Overlook not thy handiworks. Despise not that which thou hast formed a righteous judge. Though as a man I alone have sinned more than any man or friend of man, yet thou, as the Lord of all, hast authority to forgive sins. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. The end doth draw nigh, O my soul. It draweth nigh, and thou dost not take care. Thou dost not prepare. The time is growing short. Arise, the judge is near, even at the doors. As a dream, as a flower, the time of life runneth by. Why are we troubled in vain? Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Rouse thyself, O my soul, consider the deeds that thou hast wrought, and bring them before thine eyes, and let the drops of thy tears stream down. Boldly tell Christ thy works and the thoughts of thy heart, and be justified. 
Have mercy, me, O God. Have mercy on me. There had been no sin in life, neither practice nor wickedness, wherein I have not transgressed, O Savior, having sinned in mind and word and volition and in disposition and will and, will and action as no one else hath ever done. Have mercy, me, O God. Have mercy, me. For this am I condemned, for this am I the wretched one judged by mine own conscience, which constraineth more forcibly than anything in the world. O my judge, redeemer, and knower of my heart, spare and deliver and save me, thy servant. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The latter, which he that was great among the patriarchs saw a fault, O my soul, is a pattern of mounting up by action and ascent by knowledge. If therefore thou wouldst live by action, knowledge, and divine vision, be thou made new. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In his neediness, the patriarch endured the burning heat of the day and bore the frost of night, making gains daily, shepherding, striving, slaving, in order to win the two wives. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. By the two wives understand action and knowledge in divine vision, in Leah action as having many children, and in Rachel knowledge as much toiling. For without labors of my soul, neither action nor divine vision shall prosper. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Be watchful, O my soul. Be courageous like the great among patriarchs, that thou mayest acquire action with knowledge, that thou mayest be a mind beholding God, and attain the innermost darkness in divine vision and become a great merchant. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. The great among the patriarchs, in begetting the twelve patriarchs, mystically established a ladder of active ascent for thee, O my soul, with all wisdom setting forth the children as rungs and his steps as ascents. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. In rivaling the hated Esau, O my soul, thou hast given up thy birthright with the first beauty unto thy supplanter, and hast fallen away from the paternal blessing, and thou wast twice tripped up in actions and knowledge, O wretched one, wherefore do thou now repent? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Esau was called Edom for his extreme madness for mingling with women, for ever burning with incontinence and stained with pleasures, he was named Edom, which meaneth the red heat of a soul that loveth sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Though thou hast heard of Job, who was justified upon a dunghill of my soul, thou hast not emulated his manliness, nor had his steadfastness of purpose in all the things thou hast known and hast seen, and whereby thou hast been tempted, but thou art seen to be unperse unpersevering. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. He that was upon a throne before is now naked upon a dunghill and covered with sores. He that had many children and was notable is suddenly childless and shut out from his home. Yet he reckoned the dunghill as a palace and his sores as pearls. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A man of royal dignity arrayed in, in crown and purple, abounding in possessions and righteous, laden with riches and cattle, was suddenly shorn of his riches and glory and kingdom becoming a beggar. Have mercy, me, O God, have mercy on me. If he was righteous and blameless above all men and escaped not the deceiver's snares and stumbling blocks, thou wretched soul being a lover of sin, what shalt thou do if some unexpected thing should befall thee? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am defiled in body, I am bespotted in spirit, I am full of festering sores, but O Christ, as the physician, through repentance, heal them, both for me, wash, purge, and cleanse them, O my Savior, and show them to be purer than snow. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou didst lay down thy body and blood for all when thou wast crucified a word, thy body that thou mightest refashion me, thy blood that thou mightest wash me clean. Thou gavest up thy spirit, O Christ, that thou mightest bring me to thy Father. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
Thou, the Creator, hast wrought salvation in the midst of the earth, that we might be saved. Thou wast voluntarily crucified on the tree. Eden, which was shut, is opened. Things above and things below creation, all the nations are saved and worship thee. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. May the blood from thy side be a font unto me, and the water that gushed forth a draught of forgiveness, that by both I may be cleansed, O word, as I am anointed in drink, as chrism, and drink thy life-giving oracles. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I am stripped naked of the bride chamber, I am stripped naked of the wedding and the supper. For want of oil my lamp is gone out, the bride chamber was shut against me while I slept. The supper is eaten, and I, bound hand and foot, am cast outside. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The church hath obtained thy life-giving sight as a wine bowl, wherefrom the twofold fountainhead of forgiveness and knowledge had gushed forth unto us as a type of the two testaments, the old and new together, O our Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The time of my life is short, full of pains and wickedness, but accept me in repentance and knowledge recall me. Let me not be possession nor food of the alien. Do thou thyself, O Savior, have pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on you. Boastful now am I, bold in heart, to no purpose and in vain. Condemn me not with the Pharisee, but rather grant unto me the humility of the publican, only compassionate, thou righteous judge, and number me together with him. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O compassionate one, I know that I have sinned, having outraged the vessel of my flesh, but accept me in repentance and in knowledge you call me. Let me not be possession of be possession or food of the alien. Do thou thyself, O Savior, have pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am become my own idol, harming my soul with the passions of compassionate one, but accept me in repentance and in knowledge you call me. Let me not be possession or food of the alien. Do thou thyself, O Savior, have pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have not hearkened to thy voice, I have disobeyed thy scripture, O lawgiver, but accept me in repentance and in knowledge you call me. Let me not be possession or food of the alien. Do thou thyself, O Savior, have pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have o righteous mercy. Mother Mary, intercede on behalf. Leading a bodiless way of life while in the body, O righteous Mary, thou hast truly received the greatest grace from God, standing by those who faithfully honor thee. Wherefore we implore thee, by thy prayers, deliver us from all manner of ordeals. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. Born thou into the depth of great unnatural deeds, thou wast not held there, but with a mind yet greater, thou didst ma- manifestly run up to the highest virtue by means of righteous deeds, O Mary, wondrously astonishing the nature of angels. O holy hierarchy, Andrew, intercede on our behalf. O Andrew, thou boast of the Father, in thy prayers forget not to make entreaty, as thou standest before the transcendently divine Trinity, that we who invoke thee with longing as our divine protector be delivered from punishment, O adornment of Crete. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I confess thee to be God, indivisible in essence, unconfused in persons, the one Godhead in Trinity, as being of the same sovereignty and of one throne. I cry to thee that great song, which in the highest is thrice sung in hymns. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou both givest birth, and art virgin still, and through both thou remainest by nature a virgin. He that was born maketh the laws of nature new, and the womb bringeth forth without travail. Where, wherever God willeth, the order of nature is over, overcome, for he doeth whatsoever he willeth. Ec nictus or frison da philanthrope, fotis un leo meke odigis un came, en dis prostagmas isu ke didaxon me sotir, quinto thelimasu. Rising early in the night, I pray, O friend of man, enlighten and direct me in thy commandment, and teach me, O Savior, to do thy will. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have ever passed my life in night, for the night of sin has become darkness and deep, deep mist unto me, but show me forth as the son of the day, O Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In imitating Reuben, hapless as I am, I have wrought lawless and unjust counsel against God the Most High, defiling my bed as he did his fathers. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
I confess unto thee, O Christ, King, I have sinned, I have sinned like Joseph's brethren of old, who sold the fruit of purity and chastity. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The righteous soul, the sweet Joseph, was given and sold into slavery by his kindred as a type of the Lord, but thou, O soul, art completely sold to thine evil works. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Imitate Joseph's righteous and chaste mind of wretched and re reprobate soul, and wax not wanton, ever transgressing by deceitful impulses. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Though Joseph once dwelt in a pit, O sovereign Lord, yet it was a type of thy burial and arising, but shall I ever offer such a thing unto thee? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast heard of Moses' basket on my soul, which of old was born on the floods and waves of the river, as in a chamber escaping the bitter tragedy of Pharaoh's council. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. If thou hast heard of the, of the midwives of wretched soul, who of old slew the masculine issue, the practice of chastity, now be suckled upon wisdom like the great Moses. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou wretched soul hast not smitten and slain the Egyptian mind like the great Moses. Tell me then how shall thou dwell in the desert free of passions through repentance? Have mercy me, O God, have mercy on me. The great Moses dwelt in the deserts. Come, imitate his manner of life, so that thou, my soul, mayest attain by divine vision to the appearing of God in the bush. Have mercy me, O God, have mercy on me. Image forth, the rod, image forth the rod of Moses on my soul, smiting the sea, and making the deep stand fast by the figure of the divine cross, whereby thou also shalt be able to perform great things. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Aaron offered God the fire blameless and without guile, but Hophni and Phinehas, like thee, O my soul, offered to God a strange and defiled life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like Janice and Jambres before bitter Pharaoh, O Master, I am willingly become heavy in soul and body, and my mind is sunk under water, but do thou help me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Wretched as I am, I have kneaded my mind with the clay, but wash me with the labor of my tears, I pray, O Master, making the garment of my flesh white as snow. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. If I search out my deeds, O Savior, I see that I have surpassed every man in sins, for it is in knowledge of mine that I have sinned, not in ignorance. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Spare, spare, O Lord, that which thou hast formed. I have sinned, forgive me, for thou thyself alone art pure by nature, and none other beside thee is free from defilement. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Being God, for my sake didst thou take my form, and didst show forth miracles, healing lepers, and strengthening paralytics, and staying the flow of the woman with an issue of blood by the touch of thy hem, O Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Imitate the woman with an issue of blood, O my wretched soul. Run and take hold of the hem of Christ, that thou mightest be delivered from thy maladies, and hear from him thy faith had saved thee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Imitate the woman, bent to the ground, O my soul. Draw nigh, fall down at Jesus' feet, that he may lift thee up to walk upright in the paths of the Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Though thou art a deep well, O Master, from thine immaculate veins make waters to gush forth for me, that like the Samaritan woman I may drink and thirst no more, for thou makest streams of life to gush forth. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. May my tears become siloam unto me, O Sovereign Lord, that even I may wash the eyes of my soul and anointingly behold the delight that was before the ages. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. Longing with incomparable desire to worship the tree of life, O Blessed Mary, thou hast deemed worthy of thy longing. Deem me also worthy to attain to the glory on high. 
O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. When thou hast crossed Jordan's streams, thou foundest rest by fleeing from the painless pleasure of the flesh, from which do thou draw us out also by thy prayers, O righteous Mother. O holy hierarch, Andrew, intercede on our behalf. Preferred as thou art for being the best of shepherds, O wise Andrew, with great longing and fear I pray thee that by thine intercessions I may attain unto salvation and life everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To thee, O Trinity, do we glorify the one God. Holy, holy, holy art thou, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, simple essence, unity ever worshipped. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From thee, God, who created the ages, who was clad in my clay, O inviolate Virgin Mother, who knewest not man, and he united man's nature to himself. A voice and all the cardiamu prostonic hirmona theon, ke picusemu exaducato tatu, ke aniga gen nectorastin zoin mu. With my whole heart have I cried unto the compassionate God, and he hearkened unto me from the nethermost Hades. And he brought forth my life up out of corruption. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The tears of mine eyes and the groanings from the depth do I sincerely offer, O Savior, as my heart crieth out, O God, I have sinned against thee, be gracious unto me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou, my soul, hast revolted from thy Lord like Dathan and Abraham, but cry out, Spare with thy whole heart, lest a chasm of the earth completely cover thee up. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Maddened like a frenzied heifer, O my soul, thou art become like a frame, like a gazelle from the snare. Save thy life by taking wing upon action and mind and divine vision. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The hand of Moses, my soul, shall be, our, shall be our surety, how God can whiten and cleanse a leprous life, and despair not of thyself, though thou be stricken with leprosy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The waves of mine offenses, O Savior, as in the Red Sea, have turned back upon me and covered me suddenly like the Egyptians of old and their captains. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A foolish choice hast thou made, O my soul, like Israel of old, for thou hast senselessly preferred the voluptuous gluttony of the passions to the divine manna. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The swine's meat and the flesh pots and the, the Egyptian food hast thou preferred to the heavenly, O my soul, as the ungrateful people once did in the wilderness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The wealth of Canaanite thoughts hast thou also prized above the rock, from whose channel the river of wisdom poureth forth torrents of theology. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When Moses thy servant smote the rock with his rod in a figure of Savior, he prefigured thy life giving sight, wherefrom we all draw forth the draft of life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O oh, my soul, like Jesus, the son of Navi, search and spy out the land of inheritance, what it is like and inhabited by living lawfully. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Rise up and like Jesus make war against Amalek, namely the passions of the flesh, while ever overcoming the Gibeonites, that is, deceitful thoughts. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Pass through the flowing nature of time, like the ark of old, and enter into possession of that land of promise, O my soul, God doth command it. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As thou didst save Peter when he cried out, Save me, make haste to rescue me from the beast, O Savior. Stretch forth thy hand and lead me up from the deep of sin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I know thee. To be a calm haven, O Master, O Master Christ, wherefore make haste to rescue me from the innermost depths of sin and despair. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am the royal drachma, which thou didst loose in time past, O Savior, but light thy lamp, even the forerunner, O word, and seek and find thine image. 
O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. That thou mightest thoroughly quench the flame of passions, thou didst ever pour forth torrents of tears from Mary with thy soul and fire. Bestow the grace of tears even upon me, thy servant. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. Thou didst acquire heavenly passionlessness by thine extreme way of life upon earth, O Mother. Wherefore implore that those who praise thee be delivered from the captivity of the passions. O holy hierarch, and to intercede on our behalf. Knowing thee to be the shepherd and prelate of Crete and intercessor for the whole world, I run to thee, O Andrew, and cry unto thee, Draw me, O Father, out of the deep of sin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I am a trinity, simple, indivisible, dis distinguished in persons, and a unity united in nature. Thus saith the Father, the Son, and the Divine Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy womb bear God for us, formed as we are. Importune him as the creator of all the Theotokos, that by thy intercessions we may be justified. <clears throat> With my whole heart have I cried unto the compassionate God, and he hearkened <clears throat> unto me from nethermost Hades. And he brought forth my life up out of corruption. Eti ke eti niri ni kiri u dei thomen. Kiri u dei thomen. Antilabu sosen les mi dia filaxeni maso te osi kari. Kiri u dei thomen. Spana iya sa van dei perblagi menso. Kiri u dei thomen. 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 Psyche, psyche, anastatica, fevis tota. Seeing 
Christ's place of healing opened, and the health that poureth out from it unto Adam, the devil suffered and was wounded, and he lamented as if in danger, and he cried out to his friends, What shall I do to the son of Mary? The Bethlehemite doth slay me, he that is everywhere present, and fillest all things. He that is everywhere present, and filleth all things. Synaxarian. On the fifth of this month, we commemorate the holy martyrs Claudius, Diodor, Victor, Victorinus, Papias, Serapion, and Nicephorus. Falling to my knees, O Claudius, thou dost hasten to run to God on thy knees once thy head be severed. On the fifth, a murderous hand fell the head of Claudius. On this day, we commemorate our righteous mother, Theodora of Thessalonica. O Thessalonica, having innumerable blessings, Thou hast Theodora also as riches safe from plunder. On this day we commemorate the holy martyrs Theodora and Didymus of Alexandria. Beheaded and burned with thy fellow contender, with her didst thou Didymus bear twinned torment. On this day we commemorate the holy martyr Thermus. Thermus held within him the heat of divine love and held to behold the heat of the fires burning. On this day we commemorate the holy women martyrs, a lady and her handmaid. It behooved the handmaid to follow her lady, who went from earth Godward by the sword's conveyance. On this day we commemorate the holy martyr Pompey. Thou, O Pompey, as the living sheep of the Lord, pourest forth milk when thy neck is milked with a sword. On this day Saint Zeno was perfected in martyrdom when he was smeared with pitch, cast into fire, and passed, pierced through with a spear while in the fire. Pitch, fire, and spear, a triple contest for Zeno. For the Trinity I trow these things he suffered. On this day we commemorate the holy martyrs Maximus and Terence. Terence and Maximus, whose end was beheading, shared the same ending and the same coronation. On this day, we commemorate the holy five maiden martyrs of Lesbos. One, two, three, four, and five maidens of Lesbos doth the sword count up as prize-winning martyrs. On this day, the holy new martyr George, who contested a new Ephesus in the year 1801, was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. Having, O George, endured the sword's cutting, with joy to the land of joy thou fluest. On this day, the Thursday of the fifth week of the fast, according to ancient tradition, we chant the service of the great and compunctionate canon. Grant us the ways of compunction, O Jesus, as we now chant unto thee the great canon. By the intercessions of Saint Andrew, O God, have mercy and save us. Amen. <clears throat> In thy kingdom remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Thou madest the thief of citizen of paradise, O Christ, when he cried upon unto thee upon the cross, Remember me, I count even me unworthy as I am to be worthy of his repentance. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavens. My soul, thou hearest of Manoah, who in time past had a vision of God, then received from a barren woman the fruit of a promise. Let, let us imitate his piety. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Having rivaled Samson's heedlessness, O my soul, thou hast shorn off the glory of his deeds. Betraying the chaste and blessed life to aliens through love of pleasure. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. He that with the jawbone of an ass once overcame the aliens is now found to be the victim of passionate lust. But flee from his example, O my soul, and from his doings and laxity. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. 
Barak and Jephthah, the commanders of armies, with the many-minded Deborah, were chosen to be judges of Israel in their heroic deeds of soul. Be thou made manly and strong. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Thou knowest, O my soul, the manliness of Jael, who, and who once impaled Sisera, were king salvation. Thou hearest of the ten peg through which the cross is figured forth unto thee. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Sacrifice, O my soul, a praiseworthy sacrifice. Offer action as thy daughter, purer than Jephthah's, and slay the passions of the flesh as a sacrifice to thy Lord. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Understand the meaning, meaning of Gideon's fleece. O my soul, receive the dew from heaven, and bow down like a dog, and lap the draw, draft that floweth from the law, when the letter is wrung out for thee. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavens. Thou hast drawn upon thyself the condemnation of Eli the priest, for want of understanding, O my soul, allowing the passions to work in to work iniquities, as he did his children. Blessed are ye when men shall revile and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. The Levite in the book of Judges with diligence divided his wife to the twelve tribes, O oh my soul, that he might blazon abroad the lawless outrage of Benjamin. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in the heavens. When the chaste Hannah prayed, she moved her lips to praise, but her voice was not heard. But though being there, and she bare a son worthy of her prayer. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Hannah's child, the great Samuel, was judged to be worthy among the judges. And Armathaeum brought him up in the house of the Lord. Imitate him, O my soul, and judge thy deeds before those of others. Remember us, O Master, when thou comest in thy kingdom. David, who was chosen to be king, receive royal unction with the horn of divine myrrh. If thou, if therefore thou desirest the kingdom on I, O my soul, be anointed with the myrrh of tears. Remember us, O Holy One, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Have mercy on that which thou hast fashioned, O merciful one. Take pity on the work of thy hands, and spare all who have sinned, and even me who above all have neglected thy commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, in beginning this begetting and procession, I worship the Father who begat. I glorify the Son who was begotten. I praise the Holy Spirit who jointly shineth forth with the Father and the Son. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. We worship thy nature transcending giving of birth, O Mother of God without dividing the glory that thy babe hath by nature, for he is confessed to be one in person twofold in nature. Alla mi parado i si masis telos, o ton bateron We have sinned, we have done iniquity, we have done wrong before thee. Neither have we kept nor have we done as thou hast commanded us. But deliver us up not utterly, O God of our fathers. Have mercy on you, God, have mercy on me.
I have sinned, I have offended, and I have rejected thy commandment, for I have advanced in sins, and I have added wounds to my blows. But do thou thyself have mercy on me, since thou art compassionate to God of our fathers. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have confessed to thee, my judge, the hidden things of my heart. Behold, my lowliness, see mine affliction, and attend now unto my judgment. And do thou thyself have mercy on me, since thou art compassionate, O God of our fathers. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Once when Saul lost his father's asses, O my soul, he found by the way his election to a kingdom. But see that thou forget not thyself, preferring thy brutish desires to the kingdom of Christ. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Even if David, the ancestor of God, doubly, doubly sinned of oath, O my soul, pierced with the arrow of adultery, and struck by the spear of the penalty for murder, yet thou thyself art deceased with things more grievous than his deeds in thy voluntary impulses. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. David once joined iniquity to iniquity, for he mingled adultery with murder, then straightway showed double repentance. But thou hast wrought things more wicked still, O my soul, without repenting before God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. David once set up a hymn as upon a pillar, composing it as in an image, through which he reproved the deed he had done, crying out, Have mercy on me, for against thee only have I sent the God of all. Do thou thyself cleanse me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When the ark was being borne upon a cart, and Uzzah only touched it when the ox overturned it, he experienced the wrath of God. But leave from his self-will of my soul, and reverence the things of God aright. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast heard of Absalom, how he revolted against nature. Thou knowest his abominable deeds, whereby he insulted the bed of his father David. But thou thyself hast imitated his passionate and voluptuous desires. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast subjected thy noble dignity to thy body, O my soul, for finding in the, for finding in the enemy another Ahitophel. Thou hast consented to his counsels, but Christ himself has scattered them, that at all events thou mightest be saved. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The wondrous Solomon, who also was filled with the grace of wisdom, once did evil before God and departed from him, and thou thyself, O soul, hast made thy life accursed like his. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Carried away with his voluptuous passions, be, uh, he defiled himself. Alas, the lover of wisdom is a lover of harlot women and a stranger to God. Him hast thou imitated in mind, O my soul, through shameful voluptuousness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou, O my soul, hast rivaled Rehoboam, who disregarded his father's counsel, as well as the most evil servant Jeroboam, the apostate of old. But Flee from imitating them and cry unto God, I have sinned, take pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast rivaled Ahab in abominations, O my soul. Alas, thou art become a dwelling place of pollutions of the flesh and a shameful vessel and, and a shameful vessel of the passions, but sigh from the depths and tell God thy sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Of all the lies burnt up twice fifty of Jezebel's servants when he consumed the prophets of shame in reproach of Ahab, but flee from imitation of the two of my soul and be strengthened. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Heaven is shut against thee, O my soul, and the famine of God hath overtaken thee, for thou hast disobeyed the words of Elias the Thesbite, like Ahab of old, but imitate the woman of Sarepta and sustain the prophet's life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In volition thou hast piled up sins like Manasseh, O my soul, setting up the passions as abominations and multiplying detestable crimes, but fervently rival his repentance and acquire compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall down before thee and offer thee my words as tears. I have sinned as a harlot never did, 
that have transgressed as none other upon the earth, but have compassion on thy creation, O Master, and call me back again. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have tarnished thine image and corrupted thy commandment. All my beauty is darkened, and my lamp is quenched by the passions of Savior. But have compassion, and as David doth sing, restore joy unto me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Return, repent, reveal thy hidden deeds. Speak unto God, who knoweth all things. Thou knowest my secrets, only Savior. Do thou thyself have mercy on me according to thy mercy, as David doth sing. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My days have failed like the dream of one that awaketh. Wherefore, like Hezekiah, I weep upon my bed, that years of life be added to me. But what is this shall come to thee, O my soul, except the God of all? O righteous Mother Mary, intercede our behalf. By crying unto the Immaculate Mother of God, thou didst cast off the fury of the passions, violently troubling thee, and didst put to shame the enemy's supplanter. But now give help from affliction even unto me, thy servant. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede our behalf. He whom thou didst love, whom thou didst long for, O Mother, whose steps thou didst follow, himself found thee and gave thee repentance as the only compassion of God, whom entreat unceasingly that we be delivered from passions and adversities. O holy hierarch Andrew, intercede in our behalf. Establish me on the rock of faith by thy intercessions, O Father, and wall me about with God-inspired fear, and grant me repentance, O Andrew, I now beseech thee, and rescue me from the snare of enemies seeking after me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O simple, indivisible, consubstantial Trinity, and one nature, light and lights, and three holies, and one holy God, the Trinity, is hymned. By, but, but praise on my soul, and glorify the life and lives, the God of all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With him do we bless, do we worship thee, O Mother of God, for thou givest birth unto one of the invisible Trinity, the one Son and God, and thou thyself hast opened up the heavens unto us who are on earth. Praise, O we priest, the beginning of this King of glory, before whom the powers of the heavens tremble, and supremely exalt him, O we people, unto all the ages. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. As coals of the immaterial fire, O apostles, burn up my material passions, kindling in me now strong desire for the divine love. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. Let us honor the words tuneful trumpets, whereby the foundationless walls of the enemies have fallen, and the battlements of divine knowledge were builded up. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. Crush the passionate idols of my soul, ye that crush the temples and monuments of the enemy. O apostles of the Lord, ye sanctified temples, most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou hast contained him who is uncontainable by nature. Thou hast held him who holdeth all. Thou hast nursed him who nourisheth creation, O pure virgin, even Christ, the giver of life. O apostles of Christ, intercede in our behalf. O apostles of Christ, having built the whole church with the spirit as master builder, Therein bless Christ unto the ages. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. Sounding the trumpet of doctrine, the apostles have overthrown every error of idols while supremely exalting Christ unto all the ages. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. O apostles, ye fair company, ye guardians of the world and citizens of the heavens, deliver from dangers those who ever acclaim you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O all radiant thearchy of three sons, nature of the same glory and same throne, O all accomplishing Father, O Son and Divine Spirit, I sing thy praise unto the ages, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us unceasingly praise the Mother of God as an honorable and exceedingly exalted throne, O we peoples, who alone was mother and virgin after giving birth. <coughs> On stratie ura non lux azusi, ke fritim ta cheruim, ke ta serafim, pas ap noi ke ktisis imnite evlogite, ke iperipsute ispandas tus eonas. Him whom the hosts of heavens glorify, and before whom the cherubim and seraphim tremble, O every breath and all creation praise, bless and supremely exalt unto all the ages. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
I have sinned, O Savior, have mercy. Rouse my mind to conversion. Receive me who repent. Take pity on me who cry against thee only have I sinned. I have wrought iniquity. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Once Elias the chariot, your mounting upon the chariot of the virtues was taken up as though to the heavens above earthly things. Consider his ascent, therefore, O my soul. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. The stream of Jordan was parted hither and thither of old through Eliseus by Elias mantle. But thou, my soul, hast not partaken of this grace because of thine incontinence. Have mercy, me, O God, have mercy on me. Eliseus once received double grace from the Lord when he took up Elias mantle. But thou, my soul, hast not partaken of this grace because of thine incontinence. Have mercy, me, O God, have mercy on me. Of all the Shumanite women entertained the righteous Eliseus with good will, but thou, my soul, hast taken into thy house neither stranger nor wayfarer, wherefore thou shalt be cast out of the bride chamber lamenting. <coughs> Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou hast imitated Gehazi's defiled mind at all times, O my miserable soul. Thrust away his love of money even now in old age. Flee from the fire of Gehenna by departing from thine evil deeds. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. By rivaling Uzziah, O my soul, thou hast his leprosy double in thee, for thou dost think unseemly things and workest lawlessness. Leave what thou hast hold of and run unto repentance. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou, O my soul, hast heard of the Ninevites repenting before God in sackcloth and ashes. Thou hast not imitated them, but art seen to be more perverse than all that have sinned before the law and after the law. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou hast heard, O my soul, of Jeremiah in the miry pit, crying out with lamentations against the city of Zion and seeking for tears. Imitate his life of lamentation, and thou shalt be saved. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Jonas ran away to Tarsus for knowing the conversion of the Ninevites, for as a prophet he knew God's compassion. Wherefore he was zealous that his prophecy should not prove false. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou, O my soul, hast heard of Daniel in the pit, how he stopped the mouths of beasts. <coughs> Thou knowest how the children, those with Azariah, quenched the flame of the burning furnace by faith. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have brought forward unto thee, O the people of the Old Testament, as examples, O my soul. Imitate the God-beloved deeds of the righteous, and flee all the more from the sins of the wicked. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy on me. O righteous judge and Savior, have mercy and rescue me from the fire and threat of punishment, which I shall justly incur at the judgment. Forgive me before the end through virtue and repentance. Have mercy, me, O God. Have mercy on me. Like the thief, I cry to thee, remember me. Like Peter, I weep bitterly. Forgive me, O Savior, I shout like the publican. I, I weep like the harlot. Receive my lament, as thou once this, that of the Canaanite woman. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Hear, O Savior, the rottenness of my lordly soul, thou only physician. Apply to me the emollient and oil and wine, even the works of repentance and compunction with tears. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Imitating the Canaanite woman, I also cry unto thee, Have mercy on me, O son of David. I touch the hem like the woman with an issue of blood. I weep like Martha and Mary over Lazarus. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. As I empty out the alabaster jar of my tears upon thy head as myrrh, O Savior, I cry unto thee like the harlot seeking mercy. I offer thee a prayer and ask to receive forgiveness. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Although no one hath sinned against thee as I, yet receive me also, compassionate Savior, repenting in fear and crying out with longing, against thee only have I sinned, I have done iniquity, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Spare, O Savior, thine own creation, and as the shepherd seek out the lost sheep, 
Snatch from the wolf me that I'm gone astray, and make me a nursling in the pasture of thy sheep. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When thou shalt sit as a compassionate judge, and shalt show thy terrible glory, O Christ, O oh, what fear there shall be then, when the furnace is burning, and all shrink from thine unendurable tribunal. Have mercy on me, O God, among rights all the barrier to see on our behalf. The mother of the never setting light enlightened, enlightened thee and loosed thee from the darkness of the passions. Wherefore, as one admitted to the grace of the Spirit of Mary, enlighten them that acclaim thee faithfully. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. Beholding an unheard of wonder in thee, O Mother, the divine Zos- Zosimus was truly amazed, for he saw an angel in a body and was completely filled with wonder, praising Christ unto the ages. O holy hierarch, Andrew, intercede on our behalf. Since thou hast boldness towards the Lord, O Andrew, Thou august boast of Crete, I beseech thee, intercede that I now find loosing from the bond of mine iniquity by the prayers of thee, O teacher, thy glory of the righteous. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. O beginningless Father, co beginningless Son, O good comforter, upright spirit, O begetter of the Word of God, Word of the unoriginate Father, O living and creating Spirit, O Trinity and Unity, have mercy on me. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. As from thy of royal, of royal purple, O Immaculate One, the noetic purple robe, even the flesh of Emmanuel, was woven in the womb. Wherefore, in truth, we honor thee as the Theotokos. Whom we praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord, him whom the hosts of heaven glorify, and before whom the cherubim and seraphim and tremble, all oh, every breath in all creation. Praise, bless, and supremely exalt unto all the ages. Megalini psychimo ton kirion, ki galese to pneuma mo epito theo to sotirimo, tin dimio teran ton kerubim, ke endoxo teran asingritos ton serafim, tin adi athoros theon logon te kusan, tin ondos theo to conse megalino me. For he looked upon the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, he who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. O ti episemi megali ordinatois, ke aion donum actu, ke tu eleos of tuis genean, ke genean tis vobum enis abdon, Tin dimi o teran tu cherubim, ken doxo teran asingritos ton serafim, tin adi aphoros theo logo en decusan, tin ondos theo to conse megalino me. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Cathile dinastas apothronon, ke ipsus et apinus, minonos en eplis en agathon, ke plutundas ex epestile kenus, tin timio terran ton cherubim, ke noxo terran asingritos ton serafim, Tina di aphoros eon logon de kusan, tinon dos theotokon se megalino men. He hath hope in his servant Israel, remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, he who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. O apostles of Christ, intercede in our behalf. O apostles who were shown to be springs of saving water, water my soul, which is parched with the thirst of sin. O apostles of Christ, intercede in our behalf. 
As I swim the open sea of destruction, and am already deep underwater, save me like Peter with thy right hand, O Lord. O apostles of Christ, inter- o, o apostles of Christ intercede on our behalf. Since ye are the salt of the saving doctrines, dry up the rottenness of my mind and drive away the darkness of ignorance. Most holy Theotokos, save us. As she who gave birth to joy, grant me mourning, O Lady, through which I shall be able to find divine consolation in that day that cometh. Thee, the mediatress between heaven and earth, do we all, do all we generations magnify, O Virgin, for in thee hath the fullness of the Godhead dwelt bodily. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. Thee, the glorious company of the apostles, do we magnify in song, for you were shown to be radiant luminaries of the whole world, driving out error. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf, catching rational fishes with your net of the gospel. Ye ever bring them unto Christ as rich fare, O blessed apostles. O apostles of Christ, intercede on our behalf. In your petitions unto God, remember us, O apostles, that we who praise you with longing may be delivered from every temptation, we pray. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thee, the unity of three hypostases, Father and Son with the Spirit, do I him, one God, substantial, a trinity of the same power and without beginning, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thee, the childbearer and virgin, do all we the generations call blessed, being delivered through thee from the curse, for thou hast given birth to joy for us, even the Lord. Asporus ellipseos, sotokos aner mineptos, mitros an adru, aptoros ikis, iste uga igenisis, ken opitas visis, dios e passe gene, oste onifomitera, orthodoxus megalino men. Inexplicable is the childbearing of a seedless conception. Without corruption is the conception of a mother who knew not a man, for the birth of God doth make nature new. Wherefore all we the generation do magnify thee in orthodox manner as the mother of our God. Have mercy, me, O God, have mercy on me. The mind is wounded, the body is feebled, the spirit aileth, the word is grown weak, life had been put to death, the end is at the doors. Wherefore, o miserable soul, what shalt thou do when the judge cometh to search out thy deeds? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have brought forth Moses' account of the creation of the world, O my soul, and from thence all the covenanted scripture which doubt thee of the righteous and the unjust of whom thou, so hast imitated the latter, and not the former, having sinned against God. Have mercy me, O God, have mercy on me. The law is grown weak, the gospel is fallen idle, and all the scripture is neglected in thee. The prophets have lost their strength, and so had every word of the righteous. The wounds of my soul are multiplied, and there is no physician to make thee, to make thee whole. Have mercy me, O God, have mercy on me. I bring the examples from the new scripture, my soul, to lead thee unto compunction. Therefore emulate the righteous, turn away from sinners, and make Christ gracious by prayers and fasting, by purity and modesty. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Christ became a babe, and in the flesh conversed with me, and of his own will fulfilled all that pertaineth to our nature, apart from sin, showing thee beforehand, O my soul, an example and an image of his own condescension. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ became man, calling thieves and harlots unto repentance. Repent, O my soul, the door of the kingdom is already opened, and the transformed Pharisees and publicans and adulterers are seizing it ahead of thee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ saved, Magi invited shepherds, showed 
Fourth, multitudes of infants as martyrs, he glorified an elder and an aged widow, whom thou hast not emulated on my soul, neither their deeds nor their life, but woe unto thee when thou art judged. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When the Lord had fasted forty days in the wilderness, he afterwards hungered, showing his human nature. Be not despondent, O my soul, if the enemy attack thee, but let him be beaten far away from thee with prayer and fasting. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ was being tempted, the devil was tempting him, showing him stones that they might be made bread. He led him up into a mountain to see in a moment all the kingdoms of the world. Fear the spectacle of my soul, watch and pray every hour unto God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The desert loving turtle dove, the lamp of Christ, the voice of one crying, resounded, preaching repentance, Herod wrought iniquity with Herodias. See, my soul, that thou be not caught in the snares of the iniquities, but embrace repentance. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. The forerunner of grace dwelt in the wilderness, and all Judea and Samaria, on hearing, ran to him and confessed their sins, eagerly receiving baptism, whom thou thyself hast not imitated on my soul. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Marriage is honorable, and the bed undefiled, for Christ blessed both beforehand when in the flesh he ate at the marriage in Cana, changing the water into wine, and showing his first miracle, so that thou mightest be changed of my soul. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ strengthened the paralytic who took up his bed, and he raised up the dead young man, the son of the widow, and the centurion's servant. And when he appeared to the Samaritan woman on my soul, he depicted beforehand for thee the worship in spirit. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The Lord healed the woman with an issue of blood by the touch of his hem. He cleansed lepers, he enlightened the blind and strengthened the lame. And by a word he healed the deaf and dumb and heard it was bowed to the ground, that thou mightest be saved, O righteous soul. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ the Word cured diseases, preached the gospel to the poor, healed cripples, ate with publicans, spake with sinners, and the soul of Jairus' daughter, which had already departed, he brought back by the touch of his hand. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A publican was saved, and the harlot turned to chastity, but a boasting Pharisee was condemned. For the first said, Be gracious, and the second, Have mercy on me. But the third vaunted, crying, O God, I thank thee, and the foolish words that followed thereon. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Zacchaeus was a publican, and yet he was saved. And Simon the Pharisee stumbled, while the harlot received the release of forgiveness from him that had power to forgive. From him that had power to forgive sins, make him to be merciful unto thee, O my soul. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou hast not emulated the harlot of my wretched soul, who took the alabaster jar of myrrh, and with her tears anointed the feet of the Lord, and she wiped them with her hair, as he was tearing up the handwriting of the ancient accusations against her. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou knowest, O my soul, how the cities to which Christ gave the gospel fell under a curse. Fear their example, become not like them. For the Master com compared them unto Sodom and condemned them to Hades. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Do not, through despair, appear to be worse than the Canaanite woman, of whose faith thou hast heard, O my soul. Through her faith, her daughter was healed by the word of God. Cry out like her from the depth of thy heart unto Christ, O Son of David, save, save even me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Have compassion. Save me, O Son of David. Have mercy, thou who with a word didst heal the, dem the demonized. And speak thy compassionate voice unto me as to the thief. Amen, I say unto thee, thou shalt be with me in paradise when I come in my glory. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. A thief accused thee, a thief confessed thee to be God, and both were hanging with thee on the cross. But, O plenteous in mercy, open also unto me the door of thy glorious kingdom, as thou didst to thy believing thief who recognized thee as God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
creation was troubled when it saw the crucified. The mountains and rocks were rent asunder in fear, and the earth trembled, and Hades was stripped bare, and the light was darkened in the day, seeing the nail to the cross in the flesh of Jesus. Have mercy, me, O God. Have mercy. Require not of me fruits worthy of repentance, for my strength hath failed within me. Give me a heart that is ever broken and poverty of spirit, that I may offer thee, uh, that, that I may offer these unto thee as an acceptable sacrifice, O only Savior. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. O my judge, who alone dost know me, who shall come again with the angels to judge all the world, look upon me then with a gracious gaze and spare me, and take pity, O Jesus, on me, who have sinned more than the entire nature of man. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede in our behalf. Living in a manner immaterial and surpassing nature of Mary, with that strange way of life, thou didst astonish all the orders of angels and the assemblies of mortals before whom thou, as though immaterial, didst walk upon the Jordan with thy feet and pass over it. O righteous Mother Mary, intercede on our behalf. Make the Creator gracious to us who acclaim thee, O righteous Mother, that we be delivered from misfortunes and afflictions that beset us round about, that being rescued from temptations, we might unceasingly magnify the Lord who hath glorified thee. O holy hierarch Andrew, intercede on our behalf. O venerable and thrice blessed Father Andrew, thou shepherd of Crete, cease not to pray for them that sing thy praise, that we who honor thy memory with faith may be rescued from all manner of wrath, affliction, corruption, and inconceivable sins. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity, one in essence, O unity of three hypostases, thee do we praise with hymns, glorifying the Father, magnifying the Son, and worshiping the Spirit, who art truly the one God by nature, life and lives, a kingdom that shall have no end. Hold now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Protect thy city, O immaculate birth giver of God, for in thee doth she faithfully reign, in thee is she made strong, and conquering through thee, she routeth every temptation, and spoileth her adversaries, and governeth her obedient commonwealth. the light to rise upon thy world, cleanse every sin from my soul which is in darkness by the intercessions of, of the apostles, O Lord, and save me. O thou who makest the light to rise upon the world, cleanse every sin from my soul which is in darkness 
by the intercessions of the hierarchical Lord and save me. O thou who makest the light to rise upon the world, cleanse every sin from my soul which is darkness by the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord, and save me. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, Thou that takes away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For Thou and the Lord, Holy, Thou and the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been a refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against Thee. Lord, unto thee I fled for refuge, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them to know thee. Vow, the Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, grant me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due song, unto thee glory is due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And let us to the task. Grant this, O and Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guard of our souls and bodies, let us ask. Grant Lord. this, O Pardon Lord. Pardon us from our sins and offenses, let us ask. Grant Lord. this, O Lord. Peace Lord. for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask. Grant Lord. this, O that we Lord. Let us complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask. Grant Lord. this, O a Lord. Christian, life painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant Lord. this, O Lord. Most holy Theodoro, save us. All the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ to our God. Thee, o Lord. For God of mercy and compassion and love for men art thou, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and even unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto and to thy Spirit. Our heads unto the Lord. To For the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils, and look upon thy servants and upon thy works, and do thou guide their sons. Falling afoul of the assaults of thieves, O my soul, thou hast been grievously wounded by thine own failings. Giving thyself up to unreasonable enemies, but while thou yet 
has the opportune season, cry out with compunction, O hope of the hopeless and life of the despairing, O Savior, raise me up and save me. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands of the God right upon us. Yea, the work of our hands do the guide aright, clothed right well with the breastplate of the faith. And having armed yourselves with the form of the cross, ye proved to be mighty soldiers. Ye valiantly resisted tyrants and dashed to the ground the error of the devil. As victors ye were counted worthy of crowns, ever intercede ye in our behalf, that our souls be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Move now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Accept the cries of thy servants, O all pure virgin Theotokos, and intercede unceasingly that the loosing of our transgressions and peace be granted unto us. Amen. It is good to give praise unto the Lord and to chant unto the name of Most High, to proclaim in the morning thy mercy and thy truth by night. Peace be unto Despota, holy Godly, mighty, holy, immortal, mercy us, holy Godly, mighty, holy, immortal, mercy us, holy Godly, mighty, holy, immortal, mercy us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. As we stand in the temple of the glory, we reckon ourselves to be standing in heaven, and to talk us, O heavenly gate, open unto us the portal of the mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. O Thou, sic tiris imas, ke evlogis imas, epifane to prosopon of the fimas, ke leis imas. Amin. Kyrie ke despota ti zuis mo pnevma, argias, periargias, filarchias, ke argologias mimidos. Pnevma des ofrosinis, tapin ofrosinis, ipomonis, ke agapis, charis, emitos odulo. Ναι, Κύριε Βασιλευδόρησέ με του ράντα με απτέσματα και μη κατεκρίνειν τον αδερφόν μου ότι ευλογητώσει εις τους όνους των αιών. Ο Θεός ηλάστη τιμή του Μαρτωλό. 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 Ο Θεός ηλάστη τιμή το 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 μαρτωλό και λέει σον με. Ναι, Κύριε Βασιλευδόρησέ μη του οράντα με απτέσματα και μη κατακρίνει τον αδελφόν μου ότι ευλογητός εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Oh, come, let us worship and fall down before our King God. Oh, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King God. Oh, come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ the King our God.
And in my words, give ear, Lord, hear my cry, attend the voice of my supplication of my King, my God, for thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning shall thou hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and thou shalt look upon me. For not a God I will listen, if with thee art thou, he that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgress or abide before thine eyes. I was hated all, they might work iniquity, thou shalt destroy, or they may speak a lie. A man is bloody and deceitful, shall the Lord abhor, but for me and a multitude of thy mercy shall I go into thy house, such a worship toward the holy temple, and fear thee. O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies, make straight my way before thee, for in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, and their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues have they spoken deceitfully, judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out for thee from bitter thee, O Lord, and let all them be glad of hope in thee, they shall ever rejoice and not dwell among them. And also glory in thee, thy love, thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous, O Lord, is with the shield of thy good pleasure, also crowned us. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation before the mountains came to be, and the earth was formed, and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art. Turn not man away into lowliness, yea, thou hast said, Turn back, ye sons of men, for a thousand years in thine eyes, O Lord, but is yesterday that is past, and is watching at night. Things to no account shall the years be in the morning, thy grass, man pass away. In the morning shall they bloom and pass away, in the evening shall they fall and go withered and dry. For we have fainted away in thy wrath, and in thine anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life span is the light of thy countenance. For all our days are faded away, and in thy wrath have we fainted away. Our years like a spider have spun out their tail, as for the days of our years and our span will be threescore years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have fourscore years, and what is more than these is toil and travail, for mildness has come upon us, and we should be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and not a fear of thee, who can recount thine anger? So make thy right hand known to me, and to them in our heart are instructed in wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We are filled in the morning with the mercy of the Lord, and we rejoice, and we are glad, and all our days let us be glad, for the days were not assemble us, for the years when we saw evils. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works, do thou guide their sons, and let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands do thou guide right upon us, yea, the work of our hands do thou guide right. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path. The moment will come unto me, I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes, the workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart have not cleaved unto me, as for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him was I was proud, and his heart insatiated, I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path, and ministered unto me, the proud doer, dwelt not in the midst of my house, the speaker of unjust things, prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly destroy, out of the city of the, city of the Lord, all the might work iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto you, to the Virgin Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. To prois acus and disponis mu, o vasileus mu, que o theos mu. Unto my words give ear, O Lord, hear my cry. In the morning hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. <clears throat> For unto thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now, and ever, and unto the age of the men, what shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou hast made the Son of Righteousness to dawn forth. Paradise, for thou hast brought forth flowers from mortality. Virgin, for thou hast remained, corrupt, pure mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace, the Son, who is a God of all, do thou entreat him to save our souls. Tadiyo vimata mukkatev finon katatologion su kemi katakiri efsato mupasano mia. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Litrosene aposiku vandi asanthropon ke filaxo daesendolasu. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy Commandment. To cross upon su epiphanon epitundudun su, que didaxon meta dikeo matasu. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Clear of the totus toma muene seo su kiria, opposing niso tindoxon su olin tinimera and tin megalo prepian su. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may him thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Let my mouth be filled with the praise of the Lord, that I may have thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. 
peaceful light to test it all. For the God of the mighty, holy, mortal mercy on us. For the God of the mighty, holy, mortal mercy on us. For the God of the mighty, holy, mortal mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious in our sin. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages of men. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and unto the age of ages. Amen. My soul, my soul, arise, wherefore dost thou slumber? The end is drawing nigh, and thou shalt be, be troubled. Arouse yourself, and therefore that Christ God may spare thee, for he is everywhere present and filleth all things. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy,
of a righteous mother, the extent that I see the fools for, for, fools for Christ, take a holy page and tell Maximum of Charge, Bishop of San Francisco, the winner worker, of the holy right hand, so God, Joey Kimanana, of the holy martyrs, Claudius, Theodore, Victor, Victorinus, Papias, Serapian, and I see first in the righteous mother, Theodora, Theodora of Thessalonica, when we keep the reign of all the saints, members, and save us for you, is good enough for the man. Receive the supplication of our sinners of Christ, God, and have mercy on us. Let thy mercy, Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Eternal be the memory of the blessed and remembrable founders of this holy monastery, and of all our fathers and brethren who have gone to the rest before Eternal us. be the memory. Like a spiritual day, star in heaven's firmament, thou didst encompass the whole world and didst enlighten my souls. Hence thy name is glorified throughout the east and west, for thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. The prayers of the Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and save us. The prayers of the Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and save us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me.